Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to what should be an amazing quarterfinal. Now, to everyone who watches on YouTube, I can only apologize. This is quarterfinal number three, and then you will see quarterfinal number four, and then the semis, and then also the final. I did not cast the first two quarterfinals. Not for lack of trying. I had appointments, I had power issues, and it did not happen. So I would suggest you, you want to see those, maybe check the description of the video, and you can watch Orn Lu's cast of that. Orn Lu is, is one of the hosts of this event. Um... Listen, we've got uh, 1v1s to start off the series as it works in World Desert Championships 2. Uh, so in order to, to earn the first win, uh, your team needs to win a best of three and 1v1s. And we were talking about this a little bit. I'm like, who, which team does this favor? Because uh, Gamer Legion and Wii Sports, both really solid teams with 1v1s, uh, but I would say it it favors the team that I also favor ever so slightly in this series, in the team games. It has to in GL. Uh, Hare is in the blue. Hare is playing as the Malians. And he tends to have pretty good record against MBL these days. And we have MBL playing as the Tatars. A map that I think is really good for the Tatars. There's lots of hills here. So you get the extra food from the sheep, which is always a nice little bonus, but like any engagement that happens is probably going to be on a hill. And if that happens, advantage to the Tatars. Um, you know, otherwise you've got, yeah, I just, everywhere I look, I see hills. That's the main observation. You do have shorefish on the outside. Might be worth it to maybe just like drop a, drop a mill here, you know, 600 food around. And uh, I think Malians are also pretty strong, but that deer is trolling Hera right now, which I'm sure when he saw the deer position, he was like, you've got to be kidding me. Lots of obstacles to get that deer. Also, this boar kind of reminds me of classic Arabia. Arabia generations are so like easy mode these days. In the past, all these hills were normal. I remember having to research loom to bring in boars. <laughs> they would be far away and up on seven tile hills. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, MBL just scabbing around the map, and he'll bring in his boar here shortly. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have to say so far. Uh, thank you, TR Pick, for the gifted sub. Wow, role playing grandma got the sub. Was that random? Is role playing grandma around? Might seem weird for you guys, but for me, I haven't seen role playing grandma around in a minute. Long time viewer, so it's awesome they got the sub. Uh, thank you for the sub yourself. The TR says. F no to Zuck, stay on Twitch. I was kidding. Uh, Zuckerberg and I do not message each other anymore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I never had any communication with him. Uh, I, I just communication with people over at Facebook, obviously. But I don't want to say I'm not going back to Facebook ever <laughs> because I never expected the situation to make sense for me to go there in the first place. So I will no longer say never. But, uh, Oh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Has Kick tried to entice you over to their platform? Yeah, I have. I uh, yes. Um, Hello. but it's. I just don't think it's a good fit for a variety of different reasons. We don't necessarily need to get into here. <clears throat> I'm happy. Uh, T90, can you explain for some noobs? Obviously not for me, but why do Tatars do better on hills? They do more damage on hills. Sorry, I thought I said that. They do an extra amount of da damage when they're on top of hills. MBL quick wall. And MBL gets the quick wall down, and ah, uh, if that isn't relatable, oh, ooh, MBL saves the vill. That's actually pretty huge. Okay, Hera trying to stop the wall off, and MBL should be able to get away with that villager. And uh, MBL going for some crazy walls here. I mean, Hera's opening up for aggression. This seems to be the most sense. MBL's just a player who kind of can make stuff happen if he doesn't take damage early. MBL is still all like, let's say, the top 16 players. And this is going to come off negative, but trust me, it turns into a compliment. He's got the worst build orders. His times are not great. He's unorthodox. He's like consistently like got weird dark ages compared to some of the other big names. But in, as long as he doesn't lose some vills, if the longer he hangs around, the crazier things can become with him. Now, things will be interesting now. Harris Scout is weak, but he will be in Feudal Age, so he will get the extra attack and speed. But I don't think that's enough to be able to justify a fight against MBL. I'm trying to do math here, which is very dangerous because I haven't had coffee yet. So it would be five hits for MBL to get a kill. 
And Hera is it's probably around five or six as well. Plus you have the Tatar bonus here, so. Kind of feels like a fast castle-ish attempt from MBL. I mean uh, I'm I'm not entirely sure. He is still open on the back side here. He doesn't need the shorefish at this point. Like MBL's gonna take this fight. And Hera's gonna be adding more army behind this. Again, I, I'm trying to do the math here. It seems like it's really close, but Hera's scout will go down. Yeah, one more hit, MBL, and you kill the scout. There you go. I knew I was good at math. And Hera's opening archer range. I like the archer range opening against walls. I think um, it, it at least gives you some potential to like poke behind the walls. I think Hera will be pretty experienced with facing up against MBL when MBL walls like this. And sometimes you just have to accept you've got to wall up yourself, which is what Hera's going to do here. <clears throat> but this is a very MBL start. Pretty typical from Hera as well to, to go for the fast up times here. But, he, he, you know, the fast up times not necessarily suiting the situation just yet. MBL even saving deer to push into. Like, this is this is actually pretty good for MBL. Why didn't Hera just run off with the horse there? Well, probably because he can't do math like me. Because it was a very obvious situation he was going to lose that fight. But it's all right. He'll get better. He'll get better. Took me till I was 31 to be good at math, so. <laughs> here come the archers. You really do consider here... Do you want to go for fletching, right? Like... Hera has the blacksmith already, but when you're worried your opponent might be in Castle Age faster, and you don't know if Fletching gives you a benefit, you might just avoid that upgrade. Now, MBL is addicted to Spears and Skirms, and so uh, he's going to probably add an Archer range here, add a couple Skirms just to hold. But this is all adaptation here. This is all adaptation from MBL. Obviously, at this point, it is for Hera as well, but you could tell Hera's thinking MBL is going to be up. So he's going to try and use the market. He's, he's going to all in this. Sell off that stone. MBL with a jumbo egg wall. It is a it is a jumbo egg. How much would these eggs cost at the grocery store? It wouldn't be cheap. There's a big chicken that gave birth to this egg. Do you call it giving birth? I don't think you call it giving birth. What do you call it? Why, never mind. Why are we talking about this? Walls behind from MBL. I actually kind of like that. I think it would have been risky to try and repair the Palisade wall, which now he's going to do. What are we doing, MBL? He had a plan. Now he's changing his plan. They ha they hatch an egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That makes sense. Oh, no, though. They lay an egg. They lay an egg, and then hatching is when the egg... Uh, you know, when the, when the chick comes out of the egg. You guys had it wrong. It's laying eggs. Bro, is this two times speed? Why are they so fast? This is normal speed. But if you play the game on casual speed, which is an option in DE, or is actually, that's actually the default. It's not very clear in the HD edition, but that's actually the default with, with the HD edition. This will seem fast to you. I think it's, this is 1.7 times speed. Hera gets revenge, kills the scout. Yeah, this is a... Uh, 1.7 times speed, and then it's 1.5 for casual or just normal on HD, which again is confusing. There's actually more to that story. If you're interested, I can kind of tell you. It's kind of funny. And then fast speed is two times. So, like, this is just typical MBL. Full walls, and then he doesn't even click up as fast. And he clicks up now. Okay. So, he's added one skirm this game. That's it. One skirm. And MBL is no scouting intel what Hera is going to necessarily do from here. I would say that crossbow makes sense. I think like crossbow siege would make sense. Malians are so good, man. Like their ability to just drop the university and research fast ballistics can still be devastating here. And elite skirm takes a lot of time for, uh, it takes a lot of time to complete here. So like, I, I don't think MBL is necessarily in a great spot with Hera's uptime. It's just, it's just MBL things, you know? He's he's going to try and stay alive. Tries to play through walls. Does the map necessarily suit this strategy? I would say no. But MBL is going to go double range skirms here. And this is where I actually think Hera, upon seeing this, will not go for ballistics and might just go for a siege workshop. Now, 
he could maybe do both. I don't see this being an easy map to drop a second TC on. I suppose you could at the top of the hill. But you're against MBL. It's probably going to be Skirms. The guy's tough to kill. Let's see what Hera chooses here. You kind of have to choose one or the other for now. And there's going to be the university. Okay, so he is going to try ballistics. Is MBL being stubborn, not selling his stone? Uh, well, he just did. So I guess he... I think he sees Hera's uptime now, and he's, he's probably like, oh, shoot. We're not going to be booming this game. And loses a villager there on the hill to Hera's crossbow timing, so... MBL's not even able to afford Elite Skirm right away, which, again, it takes some time, but there it is. 50 seconds away. He will have to dance a bit. And this is looking rough for MBL. He knew the pressure would come. Tried to wall against it. Good micro so far, though. Remember, he doesn't have Elite Skirm yet. And this is where... This is why I was saying... Rushing ballistics against a full skirm player might not suit the situation. MBL might end up being fine here. Now, obviously, you know, Hera could add the siege now. But he's going to have very little map control as things stand. And Hera's going to click elite skirm himself. So this is interesting. It's going to be a ranged unit war. I, I, that is an interesting way to take care of the skirms. Now, Hera doesn't seem too worried about the skirms right now. MBL knows Hera has ballistics here. He just noticed when, when he was running away with units. But I think MBL should just hold the hill. I think you hold the hill, and things get a lot different for you here. Hera microing up the hill against Tatars. He doesn't care because he knows a lot of his shots are, are going to hit. This is crazy micro. Now MBL is going to add the siege. It's, it's crazy how, like, you know, normal rules do not apply to the best of the best, right? Like, right now... It, 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 fighting uphill against the, the Tatars when they have elite skirm, no one in their right mind nine should really do that. You got like Hart, you got Leary, you got Viper, you got Hera that come to mind as players that will just confidently take the fights anyways. And really nice job there from Hera. MBL's not really that type of guy. MBL's more of this type of guy. Add the Siege Workshop, drop the second TC. And so no ballistics for MBL, but I mean, if he get the, the issue there for MBL was he didn't have the second armor. If he eventually gets there, this could be good. And like, Hera's still in a position where he does need to apply pressure at all times. He, breaking through here doesn't do too much damage to MBL. He does camp the production, but Hera won't really be able to run through here and accomplish too much. And MBL alive. Like, this, this is the theme with MBL. Also getting housed, classic, but, you know, he just stays in the game. As unorthodox as it may look compared to some of the other big names out there. And now he's on two TCs. Hera just now dropping his second, so a nice little Vill lead coming in for MBL. I missed the beginning. Did MBL lame a boar? MBL didn't lame, no. Well, Hera gonna get horse color now for those farms. Feels like a good time for that done a really good job branching out with army and let's see if mbl can track all this right now because i don't think he caught a glimpse of these crossbows there should be a part of him that says you know where those crossbows go and hera runs away like mbl even scared of this I also, would you guys agree that MBL has confidence issues against Hera these days? I think he does. Uh, MBL is a big confidence player. This is not a matchup. Like against Viper and against Hera, I see him make, I see him play, like, he's already known as defensive, but I see him play more defensive than he typically does. And I mean, part of that might be the, you know, the confidence Hera has on the flip side, but at a certain point, you play with fire, you're going to get burned, Hera. MBL getting that armor upgrade. MBL, one more vill. This is a very close game. I think, like, myself as casters, or, you know, as a caster, and, and then you guys as viewers as well, may also just look at this in a certain way between these two, just because I think recently it's just been all Hera between them. But I, I really, like, on paper right now, Hera, without the siege, he's going to add it now. Not exactly doing tons of damage here. And MBL's all right. He is in this. And this could turn into a Manganel game. If this turns into Manganel micro, 
That's where MBL is probably the best in the world. Uh, Tizo, this is the first game, yes. We got skirms from MBL on the right. Now, he needs to cut this off. Like, this is something he needs to deal with. At this point, you get in close with the skirms because your skirms are fully armored. Do you have to pay close attention to the micro? Hera will probably get away with some of these. But still, this is really nice damage from MBL. Obviously, ballistics would feel very nice for him right now. So I think that that could maybe be his next step. But I think he's actually going to make cab archers here. I, I I think that's either a misclick or something I'm not a very big fan of. I don't know what one cab archer accomplishes out there against ballistics, ballistic range units. Okay, welcome. Uh, Methylated Ghost has just played my first three ranked games and got stomped every time. Been watching your YouTube for the last few months, T90. I'm definitely in the low elo legend ranks. <laughs> Welcome. I mean, unfortunately, the first 10 games are placement games, and it's a very brutal process for new players. Um, in my opinion, they really should be an adjustment to whatever the starting elo is. But as I've said many times in my cast, if you just, you know, don't take the losses too hard. Keep playing. You'll eventually even out, and you'll fall to a rank where you're matching up against players at a similar rank. So... Hera 3 TCs. So much for this not being a boom map. And Hera pretty heavy on stone right now. So I think this game is going to come down to the next three minutes. And maybe five minutes on just how these engagements go. It, it should always benefit the defender. Neither player is going to have the greatest of times walking up a hill. Economy should be pretty smooth for, for both players here. Now Hera gaining a nice villager lead. Remember, though, his civilization doesn't get Bracer. So playing into ranged units is a little awkward. MBL's Cav Archer sits behind the wood line here. This is what he was aiming to do. Two Cav Archers heading over here to harass Hera. Hera's is going to be pulled away from the front, but again, shouldn't necessarily be too worried about the front. So Cav Archers are making sense. He's using the mobility. I didn't think it'd be possible to really use the mobility like this. This is well played from MBL. Now, this is also what happens. If Hera spots you, he could kill you. Just like he's going to do over here. So, the, the, the Cav Archer play is probably going to be short-lived for MBL. The skirms and Mangoes is still what we're thinking about. And, and it doesn't feel like either player is going to be able to advance. Hera's not even making Siege right now. So, he definitely won't be able to advance forward. But he could get a big edge in the trebuchets and the bombard cannons. I think, you know, Hera used the faster university upgrades well to get ballistics at the start of Castle Age. He'll probably prioritize chemistry. And if he does that with some trebs, it could be really strong. He's actually going to castle over here, though. MBL looking pretty good for Imp as well. No bombard cannons for Tatars. That could be a big issue. Still no ballistics for MBL, so the range units are not going to accomplish much. Could Hera go infantry to shred the skirms? I think if you start to mix in infantry, it takes... Like, it becomes very obvious for the opponent, and they can mix in cab archers. I, I don't think the infantry would be strong enough. I think in this situation, what benefits Hera the most is to use the skirms while he still can. So the chemistry timing, uh, you know, a couple bombard cannons... And then from there, you want to go for um, for for Cav. Like Mali and Cav is super strong. You see Hera dropping stables now. And actually, Tatar Halbs are pretty weak. They do still get help, so it's not as bad as some other situations could be. Oh, MBL doesn't. He hasn't clicked up. Go up to Imp. Go up to Imp. MBL, click up. Yeah, MBL, it's just, it's similar to what we had said before. You know, he's just a little slow with the timings here. Timings are so critical, especially up against someone like Hera, and MBL still isn't clicked up. MBL, you gotta click up to Imp, dude. There he goes. I guess, maybe he, I was, I was tempted to say he didn't have the building, but he definitely did. He had, what, where's the Siege Workshop? Oh, he deleted his Siege Workshop. And then he had the university. So if, but if you delete the building, doesn't it still count as having had it? I think they changed that at one point, and I might actually be. Uh, maybe once you delete it, you need to build another one. I, I thought it always counted. 
No, you need two at the same time. That's weird. They definitely changed that before. But that might have been like a change that happened three years ago, you know? <laughs> I just know that at one point, you could delete them. I don't know when the change happened. So, MBL, he doesn't really have any scouting. He, he, you know, he doesn't really know exactly what's coming his direction. But I do think his switch is the right switch. Uh, I think going for CA at this point is the best move with the Tatars. I think Hera could consider Camel here. Now, I don't I don't hate the Cavalier play. It's it's a kill fast kind of play. Helps you dive underneath castles and all that. But Hera, with a healthy eco lead, he snagged three relics. And MBL has not been able to do a ton of damage here. And Hera already massing Bombard Cannons, and MBL is not even an imp. So this is this is not going to be great for, for MBL. It feels like Hera's going to be able to push this castle down, dive underneath this castle. If that happens, this is game over. MBL needs to hold this with everything he's got. Just not a great matchup for MBL in RM because he plays so defensive. And Hera, if you give him time, he can kind of run with it, right? And that's kind of what has been how I would describe this game. And it's hard for me to say, you know, was MBL a little sloppy? Or is that just MBL things, you know? I think that is something he he tends to have in his, in his game, if you were to describe it. A player who's unique, who's a bit more defensive early. If he stays in the game, he can kill anybody. But Hera's going to snag Farimba now. Interesting, he's not going for the final armor upgrade. But I love the Farimba choice. That'll add plus five attack onto the Cav on top of the forging. So he's got plus six. And he's basically, he's he's waiting until MBL does something. Hera doesn't have to dive right now. He can just mass more Cav. And MBL is just hoping he can get the CA mass. But I think, like, all Hera really needs is to take this castle out and dive. And this could be game over. MBL needs way more Cav archers than this. They are all in the queue from all his ranges. He snagged some upgrades. He's going to drop a backup castle behind this. But a patient job from Hera, who's up to 60 on food. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. 67 on food right now is nuts. On such a cramped little map, too. It's like, I, I would not have envisioned this to be a 70 farm map. And Hera able to get the armor upgrade. That was the main thing. I was th just thinking, you know, maybe if he takes an engagement uphill against Tatars with Cav Archers, that not having the armor would be an issue. But always going to be something that he gets. MBL still repairing. Also, welcome, everybody. I uh, see a bunch of people showing up. What's up, Amodius? Yip, yip. Hello, guys. Lord of Bengals, welcome. And Cavalier getting some kills back there. Hera just took a peek forward to see what MBL had between the castles there, just to get an idea. And it should be no surprise to him that it's Cav Archers. Dude, like, I would love to see some flaming camels. I don't think he has the time, <laughs> but flaming camels is maybe the one thing that could save MBL from this situation. He's going to go heavy cav archer. He would need to research a unique tech before being able to get heavy camel. Or not heavy camel, exploding camels, because they do tons of bonus damage versus cav. Mahara's not giving him the time. There's a lot of stone and gold here. That MBL can't take now. And here we go. 160 pop for MBL. He's got crazy CA numbers. I would actually really like to see Hera consider Camel. I don't think he needs to. You look at those resources. He can toss away Cav like it's nothing. And he's got that plus 7 attack. Which is so much more than standard Cavalier. The Skirms will also help. And Hera's going to have more in queue behind this. So as units die, more units are going to arrive to the front lines. MBL's losing villagers, MBL will lose his castle, and MBL's going to lose this game. Despite getting to Heavy Cav Archer, which I think is kind of the late game goal here on a map that's this hilly and playing as the Tatars. But Hera, he bought himself some time, but he was also given a little bit of time just by MBL's style in this game. And Hera takes it and gets the first win here for GL. So again, uh, this is not the end of the world necessarily. 
for Wii Sports and Friends. You got Heart, you got Leary up next. Uh, one, one of them, anyways, to play their 1v1s. You only earn a point if you win the best of three of the 1v1s, and then we move fully into the 3v3s. So that The positive is you got Hera out of the way. The negative is who's up on deck for GL. You got, like, either Tato, I would say, you know, probably Viper. Maybe Doubt plays, I don't know. But that doesn't get much easier. But I, I do think that Leary and Hart are probably the superior 1v1 players on the team with these maps. MBL may be their worst, which says a lot about the Wii Sports because uh, MBL's an amazing player as well. So Hera just collected too many resources. It just felt like, you know, we had the walls and then not a lot of army, had a little bit of indecision. There was never any real solid counterattacking happening there. I think MBL needed more more army there. Like, we didn't see that entire map is covered with hills. And we didn't see any, like, real military action around Hera's base. So that's what I would have liked to see. Like, play it like... A, MBL could play it like Arabia. Maybe play, like, scouts, skirms, spearmen. And if you're surrounding Hera, if you're hoovering around his base, you know, maybe the Tatar bonus is... Um, it'll help you more there. I also feel like on Feudal Age builds, the extra food on the Tatar sheep is really smooth. All types of different things. But I think, like, MBL was just... He was too tempted... He saw the wall potential. He he couldn't not wall. And uh, Hare did a good job of punishing that there. So. so we got game number two in the 1v1 portion. If Leary wins, uh, sorry, if Viper wins this against Leary, uh, Game Relation would take the first win here in this quarterfinal. Uh, Leary playing as the Japanese, Viper playing as the Byzantines. You know, I've seen this matchup pretty frequently now. This map is called Arctic Circle. Type a one in my chat if you saw the crazy game between Dogal and Kapoch here. Uh, I think it was last weekend. I actually have a fun story with that. The game was fantastic. And I think that was actually Saracens against Byzantines. If you missed it. You missed a game that went like well over an hour. Kind of turned into a wood game. There was crazy things. We had full feudal action. We had fire ships. We had, we had arbalests, skirms, halbs, camels was really good anyways viper's gone for the byzantines so when you've got the byzantines and you've got a map with with fishing potential the enemy should fear you but if there's japanese involved the japanese typically don't fear any aggression on water at all at least in feudal age so we have the sieve that's great at killing on water against the sieve that's great defending on water i do think the japanese though need to uh use the, all the little savings they get in the early game and try and use that wood for some timing attacks here. Um, maybe consider some man at arms, like basically get army out fast because there is not a single unit that the Japanese have that the Byzantines should really worry about, that the Byzantines do not have an answer for themselves. And to be honest, most civilizations, it's the same thing, but the longer this game goes, the better it gets for Byzantines, in my opinion. All right. How is this map part of Desert Championship T90? True! This isn't a desert? Well, I never thought about that. <laughs> it's like, it's a wintry desert, you know? It's, it's a wintry desert. Arctic desert. Yeah. I could see that why there's a little bit of confusion, but... Is the Arctic considered a desert? Like, straight... Is that, is that the actual name for it, chat? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. It is? Okay. Well, can you consider... I guess the definition of desert would be... Well, I don't know the definition of desert. I know the definition of dessert because I'm an American. Ha! No. Um. Yeah, I guess like there could be a couple different climates. Or not climates necessarily, but uh, areas that could be considered a desert. Okay. So Viper's gone for the back dock. And Leary's gone for the forward dock. That's actually kind of crazy. I would have thought it would be the other way around. Remember, land units can walk over... Um, they can walk over all the water here. Does that mean penguins live in the desert? I, just go up to somebody. Not anyone you know, either. Just go up to a random stranger on the street. And say, hello, sir. Did you know penguins are from the desert? They're going to say, you're crazy. And then you then you, you reference them to this stream, and you, you show them the clip of us talking about this. 
and then say, don't forget to use Twitch Prime. You'll make a new friend that day. Neither player really scouting much. I think what Viper's going to probably scout is the middle first. He'll probably see the fish there. It's a bit interesting, right? So you think, okay, the Byzantine player could drop a dock here, make fires to disrupt the fish. Why would Leary do this? But if Leary just drops one more dock, it's two to one here in the middle, and he could still win that fight and defend his own fish. So we might have both players go two docks on the outside, or I guess not two docks on the outside, but two docks where they've started to fish and then adapt. And both players still just pushing in deer. No scouting. All adaptation here. Penguins live in Africa, by the way, T90? Okay. I mean, obviously. Everyone doesn't know about the great African penguin. What are you guys doing with your life? Thank you, Yellow Turd, for the four months. <laughs> what a name. Huntaro, thank you. Uh, Sully, welcome back, man. Ramarak, welcome. Welcome to the stream, guys. Barracks now for Leary. The barracks timing is a bit interesting. Uh, it's not too late. If he builds it with two villagers, it should be on time for him to go for a range. He finds the front of Viper's base. And Viper checking the middle right now. I think Viper and Leary may add more fish than they have currently once they find out the information here. Viper's going to choose to attack this fishing ship. Bro, you're going to be here till Imperial Age. Don't do that. But he let Leary know, like, hey, I know about you. And now Viper seems scared. Leary's uptime is really fast. Oh, Viper didn't actually have the geese here. Can you wall on this terrain? Viper's got to be careful. A Viper Scout, you could tell, was a little afraid that Leary was going to attack his scout until he saw Leary was up here. And now he gets to scout to see what Leary's up to. And he's going to see that Leary's going for scouts. Viper does have a barrack, so he'll immediately add spears. We know he's good with the quick walls. But there's there's some, some potential timings here for Leary to take advantage of. Fire Galley from Viper to defend his fish. He's actually going to pull the villagers away, so he understands that's an exposed area for him. And this is all about just being okay. You don't have to thrive if you're the Byzantines. You just have to survive. But I really like Leary's opening, and he's going to be on seven fishing ships with Japanese. Like, it, it, he's going to collect more resources as things stand. Uh, hey, Tristan, how's the weather? How, how am I? Oh, my God. How are you weathering the hurricane? Uh, I'm fine. It's hitting the west coast of Florida. Um, but, you know, I to anyone who's affected by that, I really hope everyone stays safe. It's it's terrifying stuff. So uh, I used to live over there as well. So uh, an area that is pretty much going to get hit, not head on, but is going to be affected by it. So scary stuff, man. Hurricane season's no joke. Would you guys believe me if I told you that there's an Age of Empires map where there's an actual tsunami that happens? I'm going to make a video on that. That'll be uh, up next week. I'm recording it later on today. There was a really crazy map. Also, in like two days will be a video. There's an earthquake in Age of Empires. <laughs> well, not like... You know, not an actual earthquake. But anyways, really fun funky maps. So honestly, I, I get that like this is very much a product of the Byzantines. But Viper has has not really had the craziest opening so far. Also, great farm, Viper. Don't ever make a joke about me again. What is that? Leary choosing not the farm actually killed Viper Scout over here. He's gonna drop a mill here, I guess, just so he can place some farms around his TC. Nine fishing ships for Leary. It's just four for the Viper. Viper's still worried about getting his walls up, but I think, like, from here, Leary could really take it to the next step. He's going to get forging now. But, oh, God, Leary! It's painful to click the forging upgrade and then immediately lose almost two scouts. Because you got the forging upgrade for those scouts. I would actually cancel that. But Leary's got a little bit more confidence than me. 
Viper advancing out. Only one Spearman in the group this time. The other Spearman's still over here. And then there's another Spearman over there. And Viper won't have Fletching yet. So Viper advancing forward. Again, all of his army's kind of in different spots. And Leary's had a very clear game plan here. And Leary's going to pounce on this army. And Viper's in trouble. Really, like, it seems like first game of the day vibes for Viper, right? <laughs> Maybe they should have had Viper play first. All oh, quick walls from Viper. Keeps the scouts separated now from this army, but still the army's idling. And then Viper, this is the big thing we're waiting for. Is 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 he going to be able to kill anything on the outside? He's had fire galleys coming around. I think Leary's noticed this and tried to block with the fishing ship. And he just did... He just did. Viper's busy. And Leary saves his fire galley. Beautiful play. May even save the fishing ship, but... I wouldn't consider the fishing ship that big a deal. You, you want to save everything that's out here. And that's what that fire galley block did. Somehow, despite the sloppiness... When you look at Viper's economy, he is set to soon go to Castle H. So, nice balance there. I think in Castle is when he could consider a dock towards the middle and then really start to go for production there. A Viper. Somehow, it's an even KD. And it's a 2-1 to one eco KD for him. So he is he's done well. It, it To me, it, it felt like Leary was always the one taking initiative and taking control, but he wasn't able to accomplish as much as he would have hoped with that. Weren't earthquakes in one of the campaigns? I'm not sure. Were there any earthquakes in AOE 2 campaigns? By the way, guys, Age of Empires 2 was released 25 years ago today. In case you wanted to feel, you know, really old. So, happy happy birthday to Age of Empires. Oh my god, Leary just lost the scout to a penguin? Why is he attacking the penguins? Well, he doesn't want them out here. He doesn't want to lose a villager to a penguin like I once did. Uh, Leary is not going to be pleased with that highlight. <laughs> Couple geese over here. These birds don't attack. That's not true to my experience with geese, by the way. Geese are freaking mean, dude. Canadian geese especially. They're the, they're the worst. They attacked me at a park once growing up. Oh man, Viper's got to be a little careful again here. Advances out with the skirms, doesn't have any spears around, and he knows that his opponent has a stable and food eco. That's a bit of a weird play there, if you ask me. And I think Viper will end up losing all of his skirms because of it. Yeah, Leary is still being attacked by the penguins. They don't do a ton of damage, but they're just annoying. And so that's why he wanted to deal with them. How much are collected resources? Salcia Seto. Or Salsi. I, I, dude, I actually casted the game with you. Uh, It'll be on YouTube. And I could not say your name. And I just kept getting it wrong every time. It's at the bottom left, dude. Bottom left. 2,000 more resources collected for Leary. Which is crazy. And look at the resources he has when he makes it to Castle Age. He can do everything. So, you know, he's had fish on the outside. He's had the fish in the middle. It looks like we might have a 1-1 situation here in the 1v1s, which would move us to Heart against either Doubt or Tato. I think Tato is really good record against Heart. Um, not sure about Doubt and Heart, but I would say Tato is definitely the third best 1v1 player. No offense, Doubt. Love you, bro. Leary's played this perfectly. Again, this whole game, it's just been Leary being aggressive. Viper trying to stay alive. But Viper has just not had the fishing eco. And he hasn't really ever contested all the, that fish that was in the middle. He tried to contest the outside. That didn't work. Leary's got that locked down every single time. And there's knights on the field now. There's skirms. This is an amazing opening from Leary. He's playing confident. He's playing smooth. And Viper just doesn't seem to have enough right now. You don't have to, to have the same amount of resources collected. If you're the Byzantines. You don't. But 3,000 behind is crazy at this point of the game. And Vi Viper... Leary's just going to run right through. Leary is just going to run right through. And Viper is going to have to pull villagers here. I mean, the idle time for Viper is ridiculous. 
he's hoping that he can use the skirms to clear all this up. Now, in all fairness, there's only three knights in the group. But Leary's going to see those vills moving and say, oh, that's great. Because guess what? My vills are actually working. We don't have breaks in my economy. No paid vacation. The second TC goes up. Love the position. I love the balance from Leary everywhere you look. And he's even getting plus two armor on the knights right now. Viper. Maybe considering the second TC. He also wanted ballistics though, and he can't get that yet. This is just, it's just not great, you know? I don't know how else to say it. A little too much adaptation from the Viper, but ballistics is on the way. If there was a unit that you could make long term in this matchup that could dominate, it would actually be Skirm. Because Japanese Cav is not great long term, they're usually an infantry archer sieve. I know that skirms wouldn't necessarily be good against, like, samurai or, or champions, right? But, like, usually that's kind of tough to get to. We do have plus two armor here. And Twitch just gifted a sub to me? Twitch know I exist? Uh, Viper is about to not exist any longer if these knights get through. I'm very confused. Twitch gifted a sub. Oh, I think because Etch gifted five subs, and there's maybe... It's it's like the a little bonus that Twitch gives out for gifted subs. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you, Twitch. Oh, man. Viper's getting destroyed. This is rough. 30 pop behind. This knight in here will kill the whole wood line. And Leary knows it. And now he just runs through with the other knights. Oh, man. Viper, it's a slaughter. This is a very uh, forgettable game for Viper. And the GG's called. Well played from Leary, dude. Leary played like a beast that game. Seriously. I do think that Viper was sloppy. I do. Um, I didn't like how he docked the, the north. I, I But a lot of it's because he never scouted. Like, he never scouted his opponent at all. And he pre-decided on how he was going to play the game um, before then. So, I think if he knew about this... He would have gone for the dock in the middle. And then maybe go double dock to contest nine fishing ships. And then maybe the game plays out differently. I'll, obviously, the players want to push their deer. Uh, but, you know, a little too much assuming there. I think a lot of people would never dock the middle in the first place. So Viper said that would be crazy talk. It's a 50-50 guess and he guessed wrong. Now, Leary played amazing. The scout, the skirm pressure was great. And then in Castle Age, he just snowballed it from there. So, still no wins on the board. Scores 1-1. There's the reds collected. Just a massive difference there. And uh, things get interesting, guys. This is it. Whoever wins this game gets the first win in this important best of five. We've got Hart playing in the blue. And then we've got Doubt playing in the red. Doubt has gone for the Goths here. And this map, you start with six Vils. You start with three of them on farms around the mill that you also start with. Okay. Okay. And you also have more resources in the bank compared to a normal map. So you can afford to go, like, barracks. You can afford to go dock, which is what Hart's doing. Weird to me that Doubt didn't... Ooh, Doubt didn't go for dock and fish. So I guess he can go for mining camp and more militia. That's interesting. And Hart is actually not going to go for militia at all. He's Armenian, so he's going to make Dark Age Spearmen. That's actually sick! And that's something that a team did against Wii Sports in previous rounds. So Doubt is to go to gold for his infantry. And Hart does not. Hart just wood on wooden food anyways. But Doubt's probably not going to stop here. That one villager just needs to drop off. But Doubt's fighting with Vils, he's fighting with Militia, and he does not have fishing ships, so he needs kills here. And this is... This is Doubt we're talking about. He is actually amazing at Vil Warring. I remember uh, Tato telling me at a LAN event, he was like, we're in the back room hanging out, and he's like, Doubty, man, he's actually a sick Vil War player. That's my best Tato impression. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, he is. And then the game that happened, I guess there was Vil Warring. And that, that was pretty good. Now, Doubt just lost a villager as I was saying all that. I think the key is, can they actually produce as this is happening, though? Also, does a militia beat Spearman? Well, it's it's 3 attack, 45 HP. 
against four attack, 40 HP. So the militia is better. The militia is definitely better. The club is stronger than the pointy stick. Even though I feel like that spearman would do more damage if this was real life. Attack rate is also different. Two versus three. Okay, it does make sense. The spearman seems to attack a bit slower. And Hart, um, kind of having a difficult time here. But if he can kill the Vill, it would be even. And yeah, that Vill dies. That Vill always dies. Nice job there. So there's no more villagers here anymore. <laughs> there might be one coming back from Hart. So behind this, they've had the shift onto uh, they've had the shift onto goats, and also onto the farms. Oh, also I was incorrect. It's not even. It's three to one eco KD for Hart, and he has the fishing ship. So Hart has dealt really well with this, and Hart has had less idle TC time. And the fishing ship is way faster than the militia, so it's not really an issue. For hard to just move them around. Oh, John, I missed I missed the gifted subs from you as well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Again, busy week for me. Doubt's looking for boars right now. This is another big reason to have the goths here. And he actually is at very little on food. He missed these goats and these goats because his horse was immediately in the middle. And Hearts had the fishing ship and still on goats for now. I do think, though, that the boars, or I guess the elephants, will play a big role. So, yeah. We'll see. Let's keep an eye on resources collected. Obviously going to be much better for Heart right now with the three farmers, also the fish. But he is going to invest into a lot more spearmen. Now, these villagers will, might need to leave if that's the case. It seems like that's the reason that Hart is adding it. And Dal, a bit weird to me that he sees that horse there and he hasn't left. Oh, okay. Well, he's making more militia, so he probably feels like the militia can protect him here. Okay, three militia again. Now, res collected is weird when you've got elephants involved, right? Because you got to drop off the food. And, and Doubt hasn't done that yet, so I think that will look closer soon. The farms eventually get way less efficient unless you farm around your mill, which I guess Hart could do. Messy game, man. Really messy game. Peak Age of Empires, though. This is uh, this is what we show up for. We might we might see Dark Age for 20 minutes this game. Because there's so much incentive for both of them to continue to make Militia now. And I would say that the sieve is probably better for doubt if that is the case. Long Dark Age, lots of militia. But then again, long Dark Age, lots of spearmen. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's not going to be a good time for these villagers on the front, though. And the heart just seems to get the better of, of doubt with the micro engagements. But yeah, like, I would have never thought Doubt was good with Vilwari. And then I TC dropped him after Tato said he was good and after I saw him do some stuff in tournaments. And I Vil rushed him. And I... It, it, he's amazing at it, actually. Now, bad time to compliment the guy. <laughs> bad time! We should be complimenting Hart. But this... My point is, and the reason I bring it up, is it's something Doubt is confident with, which is important. He's getting wrecked, bro. I know, but it, just just wait. I do think this plays a big role. I think this is really nice. This eco back here. He's going to have berries too. Like, Doubt has now reached a point where he can produce vills and produce militia all the time. Hard might need to consider feudal age here. That's a lot of militia. Can you imagine if you could make Dark Age demos? Like, these militia could take out the barracks. They could take out the dock. They could push back the vills. Like, they could do a lot here soon. They, they're going to have a lot of utility. And Doubt ain't stopping, people. He's not stopping. But eventually, like... I do think that... you, If Hart makes it to the next stage... And can make a demo here, suddenly the militia are a waste. So you got to find engagements. The spearmen are actually a little bit faster than the militia, which is super nice for Hart. And the fishing ship, too. It feels like Doubt is sick of this now, and Doubt's going to push. 
But where can he do damage? He's got to just move past the Spearman. I, I I wouldn't hate taking out the barracks. Don't take. Is he stealing the farms? Trying to delete them right now? <laughs> Doubt the lamer. Okay. We might see pikemen in feudal age here. That'd be interesting. You can do that with the Armenians. There's there's lots of reason to do that if you're heart. I think Doubt should take out the barracks. Like chasing the spears doesn't seem like it's gonna work if Heart just runs away. I'd take the the barracks down right now. Let this like don't chase the spearman. Just take the barracks down. Make him fight you. I don't know. I don't love that choice. I love the stealing of the farms though. The other farms you can't take, by the way. They're it's just like a weird aquatic farm terrain. And Heart kills another villager. Like <laughs> Dow continues to chase with slower units, and Hart just uses the speed perfectly. The doubt sending this group over here to find another elephant. And now all these militia are chasing. I Well, it bothers me that Doubt is chasing these, but now maybe he has to, because this will only get worse once they're pikemen. When Doubt gets man at arms, I you don't see man at arms versus pikemen that frequently. Um that should be pretty good for him. It would be the most heart thing ever to not get pikemen and just go archers. I'm thinking why not both, and he's thinking the same. I'll say that this might be the first time Hart's ever gone for pikemen in feudal age in his life. Armenian's still kind of new. A nice shot from him. I mean, he has really been impressive in what I would consider to be a non-meta situation. And pikeman takes the HP up to 55, and the attack down to 4. Doubt needs man at arms, and I think this is only going to get worse for Doubt. It's actually kind of infuriating. Oh, we got ranges here from Hart because he knows Doubt's going to be over here. Oh, Doubt is Doubt is dead, dude. Hart came to play today. Hart knows exactly what to do here. Perfect positioning on the ranges, just so he can get some archers. The Vils will be kind of weak too. Pikes are so fast. And still is the dock. Now he's going to queue a demo there. Here goes Dow with the man at arms. The eco is kind of condensed here for Hart. And he has walled everything up for the most part. So it's going to be tough for the man at arms to do much. I like taking out houses if you can't do anything else. Imagine how bad T90 is at vil fighting when he thinks Dow is good. Dow is really good with it. He actually is good with it. This maybe is just because Hart had faster units with Spearman. I gotta throw in at least five Doubt compliments per Doubt cast. Otherwise, he talks smack to me when we're at the bar at LAN events. That's what he said. It's in the Doubt contract. He says at least five compliments, whether I'm winning or losing. Or I'm gonna bring it up later. Well... I'll compliment Doubt on doing a great job at chasing the pikemen then. But it just feels... <laughs> Doesn't it feel so painful? Like, when you have a good player doing the right things with mobility, it just seems like the slower units suck. Oh my god! What is wrong with me? Every time I compliment a player, they just completely fall apart. What is happening? Oh my god. Okay, well, we got a tower here. Oh, there's archers here. Okay, there's archers here. That's worth it. That's a good trade. That's an amazing trade, and it makes sense the heart would be focusing there. Wasn't really looking in his base, but he had to react there as well. And a considerable eco lead now. And, and Doubt does have 15 man at arms. But he can't do damage with them because of the double tower approach from Heart. And if he tries to go across the water, it could be a problem. He doesn't have defense against these archers, except for some walls he's placing up now. And um, no tower for Doubt because he just sold his stone. I mean, Doubt knows he's behind. And he knows the, the best way for him to come back would be getting to Castleage. Just please, Doubt. <laughs> please don't group up your men-at-arms and show your units to heart here. <laughs> that would be a horrible, horrible mistake to go across the water there. And heart... Kind of chilling right now. He is losing houses. 
but his food eco is pretty good. His gold eco is good. I doubt is going to drop a stable now. I doubt did get armor for these man at arms. Okay, so Doubt's not going to be able to afford a lot, but he might be thinking maybe a fast siege workshop and maybe a knight or two. And like with some siege and knights, who knows what could happen. Heart distracted right now. Maybe looking on water or something. I think he was micring on water. And so he does lose a couple archers, but the archer's still way better than man-at-arms if you have the micro for it, and Hart does. Hart just needs to click up the castle age here. He's collecting more resources. It's more long-term as well. Like, the farming eco is great. Doubt doesn't really have that. And Doubt still can't easily defend his gold. It does not seem like a great spot for him at all. Doubt's man-at-arms are just attacking the market right now. In Doubt's mind, it's probably a great idea because in Doubt's situation, he relies on that market. And Hart's going to need it, but, you know, Hart's happy to just spend a little bit of wood to repair it until he gets some archers home. So Doubt's going to go forward stable. I can't complete this stable. He did have time, but he didn't get around to it. And it's looking like Wii Sports are going to take game number one. The winner here decides who gets that game. And then we move on to the 3v3s. I think, like, Viper and Doubt... I mean, actually, I, I, Viper was a little sloppy, but again, Leary just came out hot. Um, and then Hart... Like, Doubt was maybe a little sloppy if you look at the Vill losses, but the strategy from Hart was sick. It's funny how, you know... There was a little drama slash narrative on like the lack of prep for Hera. Uh, sorry, not why. Why am I saying Hera so much? I think Hart and Leary combined just makes me go Hera with my uh, speaking. But anyways, it was uh, you know Hart and Leary, but their preparation's been on point the last two weeks, and they've been ready to play. Doubt's got some knights out. Uh, Hart can actually just make pikes though. <laughs> I forgot about that. Could literally just add pikemen. To hold off from that and he moves over here to doubt's gold and i don't know like doubt siege he can't even afford the siege right now but even still i don't think it's going to do much art is playing perfectly and the market will be saved heart will have a stable one night and he clears up the siege that pops out and maybe this is the best moment for Doubt to take engagements before these units could get upgraded and get even stronger. But I mean, it's already Pikeman. So I guess Militia are stronger than Spearmen, but they're also slower, which was played a big role in this game. Hart used it perfectly. Halbin Castlage is possible. I think it's a little too expensive, though. I don't know if it, you, you really need it here. I would say your own knights, and you can clear this. And with a normal push that, like, Doubt's doing here, you would have monks as well, but Doubt doesn't have the economy for that. He'll probably try and get there, but... This is gonna be tough. Hart's gonna take the engagement here. Will lose his army. But he kills a knight. And he might actually kill two knights. That's super worth it if he does. That knight is as good as dead now. Doubt also underneath the TC. He's going to lose his mango here. Armenian knights are not that strong. But the upgrades are enough here for Hart. Hart also has monks to fall back to. And Hart will actually drop a TC over here. Doubt not wanting to give it up. He's, he's still hanging around. But it's not looking too good for him. As his push is pretty much completely dead now. Guys, this strategy from Hart was next lever. Absolute next lever strategy. Because the militia thing was kind of known, right? People were doing that in the team games. I guess the Spearman thing was something that was done to them. So they might have take, taken the strategy from Tag, I think it was. But, like, he defended perfectly. He then, the archer switch to immediately go after the hunters was the big part that got me excited. That was so cool. The positioning of the ranges. And now he doesn't even really need archers. 
And any time that Doubt tries to move over there, Heart sees him. Look at this. Like, he's just waiting for Doubt. And I think the GG is going to be called because Doubt just has to run over here. He has no other choice. He needs the food. And there he goes. And Hart should immediately react and send a knight over. I guess not. He might be a little bit busy. There he goes. And Doubt's probably like, well, he's probably going to spot me. And so he brings his knights and his monks over. But nice job from Hart. TC will still complete, though. It's actually a really bad TC for Hunt, though, because there's no Hunt here. He just doesn't know that. I think he took most of it, so that's probably part of it. Ah, sorry, just trying to uh, hydrate up a little bit. Throat's a little sore still. But I've been feeling much better this week. Big conversions for Doubt? No. Doubt doesn't get a single conversion. Loses his Monk. Will lose his Knights and completes the TC. But things are going from bad to worse here for the Lord. And he doesn't want to call it completely understandable. But Hart is gaining a big lead behind this. Hart's got... Well, hold on. Not only does Hart have more efficient eco upgrades because Armenians. Doubt doesn't have a single one. <laughs> Normally it's like, well, we compare the differences between the economies of these two civilizations. No, no, no. Doubt doesn't have a single eco upgrade. And that really goes back to how rough his eco was in the Dark Age. Because when he made it to Feudal, he did not have a lot to work with. So... Also, Armenians are a solid matchup against Goths, I think. The uh, Composite Bowman is sick. Because it, it ignores armor, so it's an archer that can counter Huskarls. And then you also have 100 HP champions with Armenians, so you, you kind of have all the answers to uh, to the Goths. I do think that, like, you know, Goths could still go Skirms and Hand Cannons and other things, but it really makes the Goths play with something other than what they're good at, so... Art notices that knight's getting converted. Great awareness. And he's kind of camping on the water here. Doubt moving forward. But Doubt didn't notice. Doubt wasn't paying attention. No, and Doubt's going to lose his monks. Oh, he needed those conversions. That's horrible for Doubt. It's going from bad to worse. And I think Hart, with his own monks behind, and the pikes, will just take the monk and advance forward here. And again, Hart playing like a beast. Three TCs, 30 villager lead for Hart. Pikes and knights and monks. And this is over. Wii Sports is going to take the first game. I'm doubt. So I believe when these games were played, they were probably... A lot of these teams were in the same room together. I know that like Hart and Leary uh, were in Leipzig training for Red Bull. MBL isn't there. But for Gamer Legion, I believe they're in Berlin all together doing some Red Bull training. And so it's possible that on one side of Doubt's shoulder, we have Viper. And on the other side, we have Tato. And they are both talking lots of shit right now to him. And he is not appreciating it. I, I don't know. I, I mean, they're a team... Those three in particular trash talk each other like crazy but i know that they're also you know they get down to business and, and they probably don't make jokes at this stage of a tournament until after the game right <laughs> like maybe after the game um anyways gg hearts played a very really good really good game here and uh you know hera's hera's probably like yo guys what what gives <laughs> what gives hera won his 1v1 and Viper and Doubt weren't able to get the job done. Leary and Hart did a fantastic job. Meanwhile, MBL's like, yo, thank you guys. I love my team, dude. My team's incredible. Seriously, good, good play the last two games there from Hart and Leary. Especially this one, Hart. Very creative play. I loved it, dude. Like, that was great. And it really was, was not a lot wrong with it. The micro was on point. The strategy was on point, And he was super consistent, super fast. And we move on. Welcome to the map that is the most painful to look at, but hopefully we'll produce some good games. Uh, we got the real team games happening now. 3v3 action here. 
and Gamer Legion hoping to tie this one up. Um, for Gamer Legion, we got Hera on the flank playing as the Chinese. We got the pocket. Tato, first time we're seeing him in this quarterfinal, playing as the Poles. And then in the teal, we have the Viper playing as the Huns. Expect aggression from Viper and Tato. Uh, Hera should be an amazing spot with an amazing Civ as well. Um, in the purple, we have Leary. Leary's playing as the Ethiopians. The pocket in the yellow, we have Hart, who's playing as the Hindustanis. And then in the red, we have MBL, who's playing as the Celts? Okay, I wasn't expecting Celts. That's, well, dare I say, a very MBL pick, okay? Now, to immediately explain this map for someone who's new, and if you are, you could just, you know, say so in the chat to give me an idea. Uh, there's not a lot of wood on the map, in normal fashion, there's these wood piles. So this has 10k wood each. So 20k here, right on your screen. So you can choose a wood line or a wood pile, and you can stay there pretty much till the game ends. Now what's notable is, Hera hasn't TC'd berries. Hera hasn't TC'd wood. Hera hasn't TC'd gold. Now maybe he didn't see it right away, and he wanted his TC up fast with the Chinese, because their start is sick. But that will mean that he, you know, will maybe need two towers if he needs to protect himself later on. Um, Tato, similar. Actually, TC, he did not TC the berries or the wood or the gold. Viper, uh, similar as well. So that's interesting. So it's kind of like a normal start, a normal Arabia game, I guess, uh, for them. Now, everyone does start with a mule cart. Every single player. And uh, Hera's going to use the mule cart to take some hunts. You also start with a camel. This camel cannot be eaten. But these camels can be eaten. Okay? So, you just can't eat a starting camel. <laughs> you can't, like, kill the opponent's scout underneath your TC and then eat it. <laughs> you know? So. Anyways, MBL's gone. Celts, he did TC the berries underneath it there. We had Hart town centering the wood. And we had Leary town centering the berries. So, that's actually been... What I've seen more more recently. But because they had to walk a little bit further, they are kind of behind by like a vill or half a vill compared to Viper and Tato. You see the 11 11 versus 10 10 10. And then Hera, uh, he's Chinese. So Hera's got this massive lead. Like I think Chinese are absolutely busted here. You give it to Hera and you expect big things. What is Hera doing, though, with these two villagers? Is he going to lame right now? I think he is going to lame. You know, MBL's trying to use the mule cart to take hunts. And wait, hold on. MBL's also getting loom right now? Because he wants to lame? No, wait. Hera's going to be like, what? He got loom? Hera is not expecting MBL to loom here. I don't know why MBL got loom, but he started to send two vills for it. And <laughs> Hera... I think just realized he screwed up. And uh, MBL is blocking Hera's Ville so his Ville cannot be attacked. And in the end, it's two Vills down for Hera and just one for, for uh, MBL. Man, that's a funny thing there. MBL was definitely thinking that he was going to go harass Hera. With, and so he researched Loom. Hera thought he was being a big brain. And that because he already researched Loom, he could kill Vills. And now Hera is down from where he really should be, so. And personally, I don't really like going forward with Chinese. It's like, you got a vill advantage. Why are you using it to attack? It should all be economy. But uh, I'm sure it would have looked brilliant if things worked out a little bit differently. Oh my god, Hera starts a disaster. Well, it's not a disaster. He needs the mule cart, though. He clicks up. He needs the mule cart. He's up very fast. I don't know. I, we'll see if Hera can afford archers on time. I don't think the barracks, I don't think the range, I don't even think the golden come are going to be well timed here. This is like... This is my favorite strategy from when I was 1600. It's called fast feudal into oops, I screwed up. We'll see. You'd expect the barracks, but then he needs the gold for archers, and then he doesn't have... He doesn't have a mining camp on gold. So, yeah. Tato's got everything panned out just fine. He's up. Viper now just clicking up. 
I don't love the fact that Viper... Like, the fact they didn't TC a resource is screwing up everything here. And he's going to build a lumber camp? Like, double lumber camp when you've got... I don't know. It's very adaptive for the flanks here for GL. Very adaptive. And then, like, Leary's build is set. Like, he's going to be on archers a minute faster than Viper. MBL is not up yet. But that's MBL. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to be expected for MBL. <laughs> He's just now clicked up. Let's see Hera's eco now. So the barracks. So yeah, ideally, you, you have the range up right away, right? So the barracks was late. He didn't have the range up. He is going to gold, though. He still doesn't have the range, but he'll get it. Leary's got the range. And oh my god, MBL! Bro, you can't wall this map. Are you kidding me? MBL looks at this map and he says, I might not have a wood line to wall to, but I'm still going to find a way. Bro, only MBL would try and wall this map. It is the least wallable map ever. And he's doing it anyways. This is crazy. Hera's probably saying the same. He's like, I can't believe it. And like, how is he trying to wall this? Here comes the archers from Leary. Viper's going stable. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that, so it's going to be double scouts. Poles should be, like, really good here if they can get the farming eco around the full works. Uh, and then we have stable from heart. I mean, if I'm heart and Leary, I just work together to 2v1 and kill somebody, and then you just tell MBL to do his thing. You know? If I'm Hera... I see that MBL is walling, and I maybe consider letting him in those walls and going to help my teammates. You could do a 3v2 if MBL is delayed and not contributing. Oh, I love this find from Viper. That's actually so sick. He kills that archer. You see, because the weakness of Viper really was the late uptime. He didn't have army out fast enough. If Viper could also save this villager, it'd be amazing, but he is going to lose it. But army is the key here. A heart here, Leary here. MBL is going to go double range archers. Okay, so he will have the production. Hera's going to try and pressure that gold now. I laughed at MBL's walls, but if he were to just tower his gold now, everything's safe. It's just such an MBL thing. The Gamer Legion had the better economy due to their starts. Um, I think Poles and Hindustanis are pretty close on this map. I think what was really nice about the Hindustani scouts is how they can break through buildings later on. MBL defends himself just fine. Hera's like, oh crap, he's actually got army to defend. And big fight over here right now. Again, there's no archers. I would have loved to have seen Leary make a couple more spearmen here. I think against double scouts, spearmen would have made a lot of sense, but they're very happy with the situation anyways. And, I, you know, the double scout play... Just not working out here. Viper under tons of pressure here. Loses another vill. Will lose another vill. And Leary and Hart coordinating perfectly. Viper's not really going to have the food eco to produce scouts here either. He, he's going to struggle. And he actually places the tower back there on that wood line. Now here MBL chases down Hera. He's, he's being pulled back to Hera's production. Hera will have way more archers than him. So this is important for MBL not to take losses. And this pressure from Leary and from Hart. You see all the spearmen now from Leary because he knows it's only scouts. They're going to go to Tato now. So now Tato is going to have to prepare something. And he's going towers everywhere. Tower here, tower here, tower here. And Hera is probably trying to, like, he's got an advantage right now. But now Hera has to worry that Hart will just go over and help MBL. Just has not been a, a very sharp start here for Viper here. Nice job from Tato on MBL, though. This is a good find. They need something right now. They'll take what they could get. MBL's way behind Hera now. So I think they, they might need to try and get Hera to Castle Age. With crossbows, Hera could possibly destroy two players here. Let's not forget that as MBL quick walls. Nope. Let's not forget Hart can't make knights. I think Hera's archer count is going to be really important here. 
And scouts moving around. Archers moving around. Viper with scouts on the way. And again, just towers everywhere. I just have not seen any team play this map like Gamer Legion's playing it. The tower defense might be, you know, a labbed out strategy. Like, maybe it's part of the reason you pick poles as well. Hera's archer army is the only thing that can engage against that right now would be MBL. And you could tell Hart actually tracked that right there. He just ran past it, was letting MBL know. Now, I think we're going to see the scouts come back. They're going to try and double Hera. Hera thinks he's being sneaky right now. And he might be being sneaky, but I think they have an idea it's on the way. If Hart can snag armor, which is on the way now, bloodlines as well, which should be next. They could find this and they could kill this, maybe. If they have not tracked Hera, they do not exact know where he is. They might assume that he's fallen back. And Leary is trying to keep his archers next to his gold just in case he gets hit. And he's moving away now. But hold on, they'll see the army now. Town Watch was actually a sick upgrade here from Hart. They should be able to see that army. He hasn't noticed. They're engaging here. Hart hasn't noticed. Hart notices. Honestly, it's okay to lose a villager or two here as long as you know that army's there and can go back and deal with it. You need bloodlines on the scouts, though. And all this time, it's like Tato's been farming away with the poles, has towers everywhere. Viper has not received no damage. He's going to have towers everywhere. And GL have a pretty, a really nice eco lead through Hera, a really nice eco count through Tato. Don't ask me how Tato's up like six vils over heart right now. So it took them time. The start was rough, but, I, you know, now I'm liking their control. Hera doesn't need any towers. He's never had an army come over to his base at all. And I'd expect a big fight here soon. Wii Sports does have the bigger army. But, you know, Tato is here with Hera. Hart's got to get over here. MBL needs to support... Leary is up. Oh, wow. He's clicked up to Castle Age. Okay, so so Leary will not partake in any of these defensive engagements. It'll all be about the aggression, it seems. There will be towers everywhere, though. So things will be interesting when he makes it forward to Viper's base. That's huge. That's the big difference right now is the fact that Leary's up. Now we got three armies against two here. And so I'm leaning towards Gamer Legion in this engagement. I can't help but feel like the key is still Hera. Because he should have a really strong castle age time. And they will set him up. MBL wasn't able to kill those archers. Hart had to pull out of the engagement. That's because Leary's not there. So now Leary has to kill with this. And Hart having a really difficult time. MBL will send more army over. Nice job from GL to just... To get those army numbers together. And uh, a tower from Hart, which honestly might not even go up here. Like He's going to sacrifice all of his army just to complete this tower. But MBL is here. There's enough scouts moving around. Maybe they complete it anyways. The big story now is Leary. Hera's up. Hera will have crazy crossbow count. It's not going to be very good for uh, Wii Sports if Leary doesn't do damage here. Hart is not in a good position at all. Here come the crossbows. And, and right now, the tower play, it, it seems kind of brilliant. <laughs> oh, well, this tower play doesn't make any sense. That was me like 10 minutes ago. It, it seems kind of brilliant. If the game state right now is that the crossbow player is the, your biggest threat, it kind of neutralizes it. Now, honestly, you get enough crossbows, they could start to maybe push down a watchtower or two. This is still going to be a threat, but it gives you time. And guys, look at the farming eco for Tato. Talk about satisfying. He's got 29 farms around full works, getting the food boost. He's going to have two stables. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a third. He's going to continue to create scouts. And by the time this crossbow army gets anywhere, it's possible Tato will have Lycav on top of him. But Tato also in um, MBL space right now. And then Hera will have a crazy crossbow count himself and is going to snag upgrades. And yeah, it just feels like, like Hart is out of the game. MBL's barely alive. MBL's reaching armor for Spearman right now as he's going to drop a second TC. But MBL will not have an army to help. 
And Tato and Hera are going to be in a crazy spot. Any other way. You play any other way. You don't have the towers. Viper's dead right now. But he's not. Leary is like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> There's towers everywhere. What? What is this? It's really smart. Love the strategy now. See the difference, right? There's no tower. And these crossbows become a big threat. MBL Siege Workshop needs to complete. He needs something here. And there's the Manganel now. Scout's being upgraded from Tato. Eco seems to be so good for him. He looks so comfortable right now. And we do have Town Centers on the back for Leary. He's got three TCs. He can't exactly be raided. Jacko says, do you think they expected a two archer play and went for towers because of that? Well, every single game on this map that I've seen has been archer play from the flanks and then scouts from the pocket. So yeah, it, they absolutely did. I think the towers opened up some potential for some greed. Right? So like Viper had army problems, but then he had the towers to protect, you know. The real weakness, like the pocket player sometimes wouldn't even need defensive towers. I think where where it was important was Viper didn't die to the crossbow timing, and now he's on Knights. 10 villager lead for Gamer Legion. And, you know, Leary's crossbows were never jumped on by the Lightcap, which is a surprise to me. Tato did try and raid Leary. I don't think he was expecting Leary to have TCs. Heart is up. Finally in Castlage. He'll be making camels. MBL hasn't been killed off. MBL's just going to do his thing. MBL also sees a TC from Hera and is going to try and eat this TC. And, you know, Hera's going to need support from Tato here. Because Hera cannot engage easily against Kelt Manganels controlled by MBL. It's so funny, dude. Like, MBL, all of MBL's games revert to the same situation regardless of the map and regardless of whether it's a team game or a 1v1. He will find a way to wall, and he will find a way to boom with Siege. <laughs> it's just like, oh no, and Hera loses his crossbows. Now, he was probably microing here, but looking pretty dangerous for Hera right now. Now, the reason you wouldn't normally see this is because the Cav player comes in and swoops in to kill the Siege. Like that That's the expected situation here. Here come the light calf. MBL's distracted at home right now. He has no clue. He reacts a little late. And he'll lose both his mango. Oh, he doesn't. He has to react here still. He will lose his mangonels to the light calf. And now Hera is completely fine. MBL needs defense here. Leary defending Hera right now. Leary and Hera are leading their team with the Vil count right now. Ethiopian archers should be favored, but Chinese eco is way stronger. These two are going to dance here all day. Normally, I'd say advantage Leary, but looking pretty close, and they can't help themselves. Now, if MBL hits Hera with something right now, Hera is not going to be able to pay attention to that. I could watch that all day. Hera ends up backing away. Man, if Leary can get imp... Like, Leary's not moving forward with his army. He's just chilling at home. He's got 40 crossbows. If he can get Imp... Remember, Hera's under pressure. Hera just got rocked there. Um, I think Wii Sports can win it just through him. And the towers will actually not matter then. Unless, like, guard tower upgrades and a bunch of other things come in. Now, Tato's about to have a crazy night number. Viper's about to have a crazy night number. And Viper... Still asking so many questions of MBL. The heart's still so far behind Tato. But, you know, I think they've got a chance here. Now, here we go. Another example of it. Of what the Knights being able to come in. Sure, like, Hera loses crossbows. But that's still... Think of the value. They've killed, like, six Manganels this game. You, you can't go Pike Manganel in a team game with a lot of success on this type of map. Because this will happen. The Knights dive your TCs. The Crossbows takes out the Pikes. It's a 1v1 stra strategy, but it's not a great team game strategy. And, you know, the worry now, guys, is Leary might be an imp in like three and a half minutes. But will MBL be alive? Leary's just telling MBL, just hold on. 
And MBL's like, bro, I've got nothing to hold on to right now. He's not going to have eco. Aliri does have a lot of crossbows on the hill defending. He's brought his army over here. They, Leary is the key now. Now, I think Viper, like, upon hearing that there's crossbows here from Leary, this is his opening to go raid Leary. Because before, when he went to Leary's base, Leary had all his army there. So, Viper's got 23 knights on the field. Many of his knights were over here helping. But he's got more knights towards the middle. He's got more knights here as well. I'd expect Leary to take losses or at least have lots of idle time here. Tatos as well here on Leary. Leary has no defense. Oh, this is horrible for Leary. You could tell he's probably looking somewhere else right now. Does notice, but he's going to get brutalized here. Tatos got 35 knights. I think Tatos snagged the unique tech for the poles. So his cab is cheap. And Leary's getting wrecked and the GG's called. They know Leary's going to have nothing left. Leary would probably lose the TC as well. I don't think he would have make it, made it to Imp. Uh, there's right now on screen seven knights from Viper. It's 18 in total when you count Tatos, and that didn't count the seven that were coming through here. And these crossbows were not going to be enough. Well played from GL. It was really rough at the start. I think that Hera and Viper will both say that their builds headed to Feudal Age could have maybe been better. I wonder if, if like, the plan was for Viper to tower, or if that was some type of adaptation. Because it, it felt like things weren't flowing for him, and then... You know, Tato, at least it makes sense in the game plan to have the poles maybe drop the tower. But uh, Gamer Legion ties it up 1-1. You know, I think the real outlier there... Um, MBL's strategy, maybe even the Civ selection, didn't really suit a team game here, right? Going Pike, going Manganel. Now, obviously, that would have been a team decision, but... I think it maybe when you're up against Chinese, you maybe think, what else can I do? But the answer might take you back to the draft, too. Like, maybe you draft a different civilization. The Celts are very rarely played at high level AV2. Right now, anyways. So, uh, anyways, GG. Okay, guys. Uh, crazy map, so pay attention. So, the players start without a normal town center here. They start with fishing ships in the south. and But they also start with this guy. Uh, a town center, like building a hut um so it is going to be a 2tc game is doubt about the vill rush right now is doubt gonna is doubt vill rushing he's not going to build a tc this seems like a planned strat that could go horribly horribly wrong okay he's gonna drop a dock here uh and everyone will bring a villager or two to build a dock so their fishing ships can drop off food. Yes. Dal is, is you know, his team scouting here. Tato and Doubt are looking for damage, and Doubt is going to Vill Rush. I don't know if I like this strategy. You're never going to stop the opponent's TC. Is he going to TC drop? Is this a douche? With Gurjara's? How is he going to get wood, bro? You can't TC drop if you can't take wood. He seems very indecisive. He could, he's going <laughs> He's going to TC the hut? Uh, here's a question. Does anyone know if you could attack that with Vils and take it out? That would be the play. Okay, so he's TC dropping the TC from MBL basically. But he's not TCing the TC. Huh? Now, they don't actually see this is here. Oh, no, they do. And MBL is going to have to make decisions on how to handle this. So, uh, wild start. Meanwhile, in the north, we actually have Hera on hunt. And we have Viper. Or, or, sorry, that's Heart. So, they're on different teams. These guys are going to take boars next to each other. Uh, Viper's actually not in the game. We've got Tato here. Down here is the Malay. Okay, so I think it, what Tato will do is go water. That's the only thing that makes sense. Because you can immediately affect three other players. This is interesting. This is crazy. That building is down for MBL. You can't build another one. So now MBL is just on one TC. And Dow is on two. He's got this. And then he's also got this. And he's going to go attack hearts as well. Doubt the TC guy. This is sick. Dude, this is actually so sick. This is... I think this might be the new meta. 
What are you supposed to do against this? At the very least, you have to fight back with Vils. And then your eco's not working. And Hart is going to be in competition with Hera in the north. And now he's got to deal with this nonsense. Oh, man. Now, now earlier in the day, we had Hart and Doubt Vil warring a bit. I complimented Doubt's Vil warring. It didn't go too well for him, but this is looking pretty close right now. Dave says people were doing this a month ago, Tristan. Well, nobody good. <laughs> nobody good. <laughs> I didn't see it in any of the games that I saw on Dave. <laughs> nobody this good. Uh, I, ACCM did it? Okay. I, we set the bar really high if ACCM's not good. I didn't... That came off a little mean, you know? Well... I'm wondering what you could do. Like, could you build a gate around it? It's kind of cheesy. Shouldn't Doubt attack this and then wall in his vills real quick so it can... He can't be attacked. Just a couple palisades around it. You might not be able to build there. Lee, are you just going to let this happen? Seems like he might let this happen, which I think would be a mistake. Leary is looking for gold right now. And now Leary's on 1 TC. Okay, so Leary 1 TC. MBL 1 TC. Eco count is way higher for GL because of that. Um, Doubt is just the sacrificial lamb. Doubt is the player who is supposed to set up Hera and set up Tato to dominate. And so far, I would say that this has worked pretty well. You just bash down the huts. I also think that if Dal can get a lumber camp on wood, because he's going to be forever Dark Age, it makes a lot of sense for him to TC drop MBL. I think he might do that. It also, these huts give you population space, so I would like to see him take out the huts. Imagine being Heart right now. You got Dal Vil rushing you, and then you got Hera right next to you, and Hera's probably going to drop a castle on your face. Not going to be a fun time. And I guess we're waiting to see what Leary's plan is. Leary's plan is to win water, and he's adding galleys now. But I don't know. Like, his galleys are kind of split up. He didn't kill Tato's fish. And then again, Tato doesn't have two docks yet, so Leary could be fine there. Jump Pops, what's up? Good morning. Vitus, welcome. Also, thank you, Dave. Dave called it the second he saw the Vils moving. Dave said, please, Vil rush the TC. Dave called it. Nice to see you, dude. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, Man, Doubt... I mean... I still think that Doubt's going to delete this TC and rebuild another one. He hasn't been able to take out this hut yet. What do you guys think? Is the TC drop worth it here? I think it is. Also, MBL's gone archers! MBL's gone archers on Hera! Hera, no loom! Hera no loom, Hera. What's happening? Well, you know, this game has been crazy and Doubt isn't exactly scouting for what MBL's doing. And the double range play from MBL is looking real good now. Doubt could be destroyed here. Hera has no defense because he's running up to the north now. And okay, the hut finally went down there for Hart. On water, Leary is winning water. And Vil counts are pretty even. Like, Eco counts pretty close. Obviously, Tato lost his fish. Hera will get a castle, though, before Hart. And Hart is trying to... <laughs> Hart is trying to block potential castle foundations, which is really smart. Hera needs to protect himself. He's going to drop a tower. Just so he can still take resources here. Doubt is farming here. Now, now Doubt's kind of like, he's not out of the game. But if the opponents get the Castle Age right next to him, he will die very quickly. So he, this has to be worth it for something. And like, what was the plan? Like, Tato did never won water. He was untouched. He was not up faster than Leary. And now he can't boom either in Castle Age. He's getting pressured by all these archers. It's just not looking great for GL. But I think Hera is, is kind of the key here. 
Even though he's at the lowest vil count, I think if he can get a castle on Hearts TC, it could be really strong. Doubt still vil rushing, but now archers are coming over. Like this looks, this looks bad. Also, if Hera can't drop Hearts TC, Hearts gonna drop his TC. This is amazing. Hera still hasn't dropped his castle yet. It's a castle war. We got 13 villagers building against 18. Uh oh, uh oh, Heart. I think Heart is fine because he started building faster, but could be dicey. Archers for MBL are on Doubt here. Doubt doesn't see that. And now Doubt's going to lose these Vils. Castle up versus Castle up. Um, Tato still has problems. Doubt has massive problems. Um, he's got 99 problems, but uh, Idle Eco, but Idle Eco isn't one. <laughs> Not my best work. <laughs> but I mean, his whole Eco is gonna be idled, man. He's farmed here. He can't take this gold. He's two minutes away from feudal age. This is why I think if you're gonna do this, you gotta like TC drop MBL or something. I don't even know if that would work. I prefer rats and archers over Latus if... Because I think it's easier. You just need wood and you just need gold. But Hera's even getting towered here. This is chaos, man. What I do know is that there's just, like, no army for Gamer Legion. And, um... I, I don't really see that changing much. Dao can't make army. Uh, Tato can't make army. He's making a couple ships here or there, but that's it. MBL's army's great. Hart's army's great. Hera will have Rathans, but Hera's economy is not going to be great. Because his TC's going to get shot down. I, it looks like this is Wii Sports game to lose right now? As, as things stand. I love when, like, the GL team... And, you know, obviously this goes back prior to when they were even on GL, right? Like, just like Viper, Tato, Doubt would have this crazy strategy or two they'd save and it'd be just game deciding, win the series, everyone talks about it. I love it when that happens. But also, there are times where they get too crazy and then you just, like, when it doesn't work, you just completely question it. And I think this is one of those situations. I wonder if Maybe you could have accomplished the same thing as what Doubt did without Doubt being so exposed here on the front. Hera again going to lose his TC. Doubt's just made it to feudal. Hera will be without an actual town center. Which is not so good. I say at this point, like, Leary should have the easiest game of his life. He's going to town center here? That's a new one. He's got 20 fishing ships bringing him food. He's going to town center out here. He's even getting coinage, maybe to send resources to, to MBL. Dow trying to drop towers here. And, oh man, I mean, he's going to get the tower up. But at what cost? MBL will build a tower too. I mean, MBL's not in a great position. But MBL will likely reach Castle Age faster than Doubt. And MBL's played it fine. Trying to make the game chaotic against MBL is like... Let me think of an example. Um, I don't know. It's like trying to fight Batman in the dark. It's like Batman shows up and you turn the lights off. Like, keep him on. <laughs> keep the lights on. Don't, don't be chaotic against MBL. <laughs> you want it to be a game... That's that's a meta game of some kind against MBL. You don't want chaos. Doubt building another tower. MBL desperate to click up the Castle Age, which he does do. So the key to me was going to be Hera with those rats and archer numbers. And, and that's what we're kind of coming back to now. It's a really good unit. It's mobile. Heart never really had the food eco to get a lot of upgrades. Heart is imp! What is this? Leary just sent resources to Heart multiple times, actually. We missed it there. And he's slinging Heart to Imp so Heart can go Trebs. That is actually sick. 
I, I think I need to see a doctor after that. That's hard. That is amazing. Holy, that's such a good strat. Yeah, because Hera's the problem. Hera's army will overrun Heart. So, one Treb, and suddenly Hera's going to lose both those castles pretty quickly and will not have as many Rattans. Now, there's still these Rattans still need to be dealt with right now. But, you know, Leary figured it was better for him to do that than to try and get army over there right now. Now, this does not mean that they're actually out of the, the woods yet. Because, like, this is a problem. Dude, if Hera gets in here, heart! Panic TC! <laughs> Panic TC! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Hera's gonna feast! Hera's feasting on Vils! Hera should, in my opinion, after this TC goes up, he should shoot the boars. So, Heart can never take them. Maybe that's a caster comment. Maybe as a player, you'd never do that. But I, you know that the second you leave, Heart's going to go back over there. We got Navy from Leary. They are never going to ex expect Heart to be up. Funnily enough, though, he could lose his castle. Hera will find it very difficult to snipe those trebs, though. How's Doubt doing? Um, Doubt has seen better days. There is an army from Tato here. Tato's actually done quite well. He's been 3 TC booming. Soon 4 TC, I guess, technically. Um, you know, but Doubt's like, he's up against Korean guard towers, and Doubt is stuck here. So he's like, best of luck to you guys. And Hera's probably sitting here like, how is this guy imp right now? So kind of an interesting situation, though, because Hart doesn't have any vills around this TC to garrison. So Hera could try and out-micro the castle. Again, it's weird. You'd never think you can be underneath the castle and the TC, but there's no vills around. Hera's also imping now. But will he have castles when he makes it there? What a weird game. Here comes Doubt. I mean, Tato's got some army control, so. Yeah, you see what I mean? This is funny. Hera can actually hit the Trebs. Hera's also adding a ramp. This might actually be okay for Hera. Um, Because one, Hart can't save his own castle, really. Well, uh, he can go. Oh, he tried to go into the castle, but he doesn't. He can't because it has too low HP. He's going to kill the ram. Back away. Hera's castle's down. And then here we got some knights from Heart. And the castle's going to fall for Hera. And Doubt's been dead for a while. And Wii Sports responds with a beautiful little game here. I mean... It was crazy. It was crazy. I think... Uh, the way I would describe how the strategy should go from Gamer Legion's perspective is you have one player... Disrupt two on the other team, and it sets up two people for success on your team. So you basically win, you know, 2v3 then. The prop, the, the outlier here was MBL's archers. Because, you know, MBL was supposed to have problems. He lost his TC, he kind of got rushed by doubt, then Hart is getting rushed, right? But MBL killed Hera villagers and disrupted Hera's build completely. He killed Tato villagers and disrupted Tato's build completely. And then he killed tons of Doubt villagers as well. MBL's bottom score right now, but honestly, how MBL played this was, was just beautiful. Because he affected so many players in the early stages of the game. We knew Doubt was going to be out, but Leary was set up perfectly. Hart also did a really good job. Guys, like, Hart thought about this so much before the castle even went up. Like, he knew this would be a castle war... If he didn't place these houses in the Palisades, Hera could castle drop him. But he gave himself enough space where he could actually build a castle and hit Hera's TC. Hera couldn't do the same. Like, that type of thing, too, is just crazy talk. So, well played. Again, MBL actually fill rushed out here, which we might have missed. And then the archers came here, too. It was... I really like the forward archer strategy, so... Uh, also, I think the sling to heart was also sick. If they don't sling then Leary has to try and make army and then it takes time to get there and then it just it might not be by the time they get there maybe Hera out like overruns heart so I like it scores 2-1 and uh 
We'll see if GL can respond. Ooh, this map is so sick, guys. This map is so sick. And if we sports and friend, if MBL, Leary, and Hart win this game, Gamer Legion is out in the quarterfinals. We've got Tato in the teal. A Tato playing as the Magyars. In the green, we've got uh, Hera taking the pocket position as Khmer. And then we have the Viper in the blue playing as the Persians. It would be expected for Viper to dock. But usually this player also plays archers. Khmer, Magyars, and Persians. None of those civilizations are great archer civs. I mean, maybe the Magyar player could go cav archers later. But maybe GL just think differently than other teams in terms of how to play this. Uh, in the red, we've got Leary playing us the Vikings, which we've seen before. Probably archers for him. Eventually, longboats can be really strong, but in the early going, it is rather complicated to control water. The yellow, we've got Hart playing as the Franks. And the purple, we've got uh, MBL playing as the Saracens. And, and I think the Saracens are actually the perfect sieve here. A lot of times on this map, we see a big team wall across the front. By the way, Tato's gold is brutal, by the way. He doesn't have, like, a safe gold, really, that he could wall in. Which is really unfortunate. Holy. Actually, it's really bad for Hart, too. What's going on with these gold gens? So, at least it, it seems to be fair the whole way around. Um, but yeah, Saracen archers destroy buildings pretty quickly here. So, I think having Saracens means you can be aggressive in Feudal Age more than you would otherwise be. And then Castle Age, you can just shred everything. Vikings, I still think, are the most awkward sieve to play on this map, even though they're really good. It's just their archer play is not as good as other civilizations that get Thumb Ring. And then you can't contest the water against fire galleys in feudal. To beat fire galleys in feudal, you would have to delay going archers, which is certainly a strat. Like, I've seen some teams have the Viking player go two docks and then full stonewall because then they don't need to deal with the archers. They may also be um, a little confused talking to themselves about what Gamer Legion is going to do because of the Gamer Legion sieves. So, yeah, we'll, uh, I'm, I'm curious, like, I could see Hera going archers, actually. I know that when you think Khmer, you're, you're usually thinking, uh, scouts, but you could also just play archers and just not need to make a barracks here at all. Hera hasn't even taken wood until up to this point, so should have a pretty solid uptime. And again, you just don't need as much wood with the Khmer, so... Falu, thank you for the, the nine months. Uh, Fresh Bread, welcome. Thanks for the new sub. Birdo, thank you for the two months with Prime. Welcome, everybody. Appreciate the love. I uh, have like eight or nine videos in backlog right now. I'm hoping to get up to 15. I've got some really cool things that'll hit the channel over the next two weeks. Uh, on Monday, I am leaving for Spain. And we'll be casting on the Red Bull channel at, at the castle. Um, so so keep an eye out for the Red Bull event. I hope you guys are pumped for that. I hope to see you guys either in chat, maybe some of the people who will be at the live viewing. Um, but when I'm gone, I just want the content to be good because I won't be streaming as much. And I got some some special content. So I hope you guys are ready to... Ready to procrastinate, I guess, right? Do I help with that? Probably. Uh, I also have an announcement on Sunday after the final of this event and honestly whoever wins this series may be favored to win the whole event i don't think that'd be i don't think many people could disagree with that statement but there's some really good teams involved as well why is leary going this way what this is a zero out of ten lumber camp what you go to the other side of the wood line where the enemy is going to attack you right next to the hill? I would have thought that maybe you lumber camp back here. But he may build his barracks and archer range on the front. I guess it's his gold position. I think he feels like he has to be... Yeah, he has to take gold there because his gold is awful. So I think it it's not ideal, but he has to deal with the situation. Uh, is the Red Bull stream only on Red Bull channel, or is your channel also? If Red Bull allow multi-streaming, and here's Hera going archers. 
Uh, like, if they want me to stream it on my channel, I would do it. I think. Um, but I don't know. I think it's just on the Red Bull channel. Hart didn't have Loom, by the way. And Tato and Hera working together there punished him for that. Killed that villager. Really nice start. Viper's going to go scouts. Viper adds a fire galley, which should be something that Leary just can't deal with. This is why I just find Viking so awkward here. You just, you make the fish, you will lose the fish, you will not contest on water. Stable from heart. Archer range from MBL, he went for the slower build so we can get the walls down. And we'll try and continue to wall towards his teammate. And Leary now with a range on the front. I'm seeing a lot of scouts patrolling around for Gamer Legion. They do not want to go down here. And I really like the build from Hera. Kimura is such a unique pick here, but you it's underrated in this position, guys. You can get some pretty fast timings. Like, think about the difference. Range one just completes for Leary, and Hera is four archers moving forward already. I think Leary should recognize if they knew it was archers here that he's gonna be way behind in the numbers. And you just have to tower this. You have to. You have no choice. This map does not really make life easy for you. T90, what's your elo? Can I say it depends on the week? <laughs> I normally range from 2200 to 2300 with a peak of 2400. This week, I've been trying to to play some, some different maps to prep a little bit for some things. And also I've been playing like complete crap. So I'm, I'm down into the 2200s right now. Hmm. Archers from Hera. I think for now, they're just happy to keep this open. Diving deep could be a little risky here. All three players for GL here. All the pressure in on Wii Sports. And a nice little lead for GL. I mean, this just seems like a really smooth opening for them. And you're still wait. We're still waiting for Leary to, to bring his army over here. Hera moves around. Hart has to move off his wood line for now. Ten archers for Hera. Hera has as many archers as MBL and Leary do combined. With this start. This is an amazing strat. I love it. And I also love Persians on the flank. It feels like such a natural position for him. Viper has won the water already. Now there are going to be some galleys added from Leary. But it's so difficult. It's like twice as difficult to play Vikings on the flank than it is Persians. Nice patience from GL. They don't want to overextend. And they do not want to get walled off before new army can come in. And here comes that new army now. Viper's walled in towards Hera. Tato is slowly walling across the front. Remember, his gold could be problematic. But not if they have this map control. This map control seems key right now. This is right around the time you'll start to see upgrades fly in for the scouts as well. If we're going to see bloodlines or armor, this would be the time. Leary is over here now. He can't meet his teammates. He can't catch up to them. There's just like a wall of military between Hart's base and between Leary's base. And MBL loses another archer. It's been it's been tough for this team. You could tell trying to gather themselves. You never really got to know. Like GL could switch right over to MBL. Now MBL is the panic tower. Now Leary has to come. And now Geo just starts coming back here anyways. And now Leary could be exposed if he's not careful. There's armor now for Tato. And there's bloodlines as well. Yeah, so this this is going to be tricky. Now, maybe an opportunity for the for uh, Wii Sports to kill the archers from Hera here. Now, their archers are going this way. And the scouts are all kind of splitting up. I think they're going to weave over towards Hera here in a second. Okay, so Hera's going to lose these four archers. These four archers are kind of left alone. Honestly, getting any value from it is decent for Hera. He killed the villager at least. And they're moving over to MBL now. It's been awfully quiet, and MBL's going to see the blue scouts and quickly drop some house walls down. And Hart has to come support. Like, MBL will completely die to this if he doesn't come over here. And Leary's on the way as well. And, and remember, like, Leary also 
Did come back on water. He added the galleys, so now he could maybe be over a viper side killing some fish. It's not the biggest deal. But nice shot from Leary. Uh, scouts from uh, Tato finding some picks against Hart. Man, Gamer Legion do such a good job. I've seen it so many times over the years. Of course, Viper Tato have been together a really long time. Hera recently joining them. Also good at it. Like, you take control and then you're patient. You don't force a fight. Because if you lose the fight, you're close to their reinforcements, right? So they're probably going to have a little bit more in the way of numbers. And then they can counterattack you. And like, look at the patience. Not a single Palisade wall for Tato. Because they just have army control. There's not a lot of players who are comfortable playing like that. Hera also, same deal. I hate the house wall here. I don't know why Hera didn't house wall here, but... Like, they, they have time to sort that out. MBL will be in Castle H faster. Leary will be in Castle H faster. That's crazy. So we should really credit Wii Sports for not breaking to this. That Wild to me. That a couple villagers lost here or there, but that's it. And Hera is getting hit by galleys on his wood line here. And Hera just clicks up. Viper clicks up as well. Army's just still chasing. Man, this is so high level, dude. This is so high level. Like, the amount, the, the patience and the way armies are moving around is just so beautiful. Like, even other teams and high level team games, it's a lot more of like, massing an army, coordinating, boom, engagement. These guys are like dancing. It's a dance off right now. But eventually it's going to lead to a massive fight. And it seems like Hera can't actually... You know, they, they can't actually get him out of here now. Viper could maybe leave. But Hera is going to want these archers when he makes it to the next stage and might not have them. If the upgrades come in faster for Leary and for MBL. A nice kills here from Tato. I think he's had a really smooth game. Like economically, GL are still in a much better position. But yeah, Hera needs to escape with these archers. And I... I think the key right now for Wii Sports to win this game is killing Hera's archers before the upgrades come in. They cannot let him escape. And it's hard for Hera to escape. He's going to be completely trapped. Oh, this is so bad. So bad for Hera. Maybe they should have fought earlier. It's, it's hard to know what to say about it. But they get completely mopped up here. Wii Sports hold. After all of this, they hold. Now, Hart is still two minutes away, so let's not freak out. Gamer Legion fans. I think Hart is still in a rough spot here. But a lot of army to move forward now. Finally, maybe towards Viper. Viper's got pressure in here on Leary. He's got Light Cav. And then Hart being protected by MBL's crossbows, but still gonna lose a couple vills. Just not a great situation for Hart. So the Cav player is in a really weak position for Team Wii Sports. And it feels like Hera, he'll recover with numbers. He added the third range. Viper, he's Persians. He should be flying here. He's got tons of knights in queue. Tato, he's been untouched all game as well. So he should be in a great spot with the Magyars. And still has scouts around as well. Just random groups of Lycav could swoop in and hit people when they're not expecting it. MBL, not able to deal with this. MBL doesn't realize he's losing villagers there. Meanwhile, we got knocking on the door. Hera and Viper about to break underneath that tower. Hart needs gold. MBL's here to help. MBL did not notice this right away, though. And now there's an overchop here, and Tato's in, and everything is falling apart for Wii Sports right now. There's too many things happening. MBL is to be in three different spots at once. There is an army from Hart on the front, but that's it. Like, they... They've really not had any attacks to the other team this game. Maybe maybe Leary will be able to move forward, but if he does that, I think then Hart crumbles, so he's just here waiting. And the economies are so bad right now for MBL and for Hart. 25 villagers for Hart, 29 villagers for MBL. The lowest player on the other team is Hera at 45 feels like a now or never situation like there is an army lead for Wii Sports. they need to use that army on the front right now 
Because if they don't, the opponent could just... They can recover with numbers, no problem, with this, this eco lead. Yeah, they never got the team wall down, guys. And it's just like, poor Hart is getting picked apart. RMBL is getting picked apart by Cav everywhere. Leary's had to run all the way over here with crossbows. Instead of ever moving forward. Which is less than ideal. And then he gets destroyed on the front by Viper's Knights. And Viper just still one TC, but why not? When you're Persians and that TC is already producing so quickly. And he'll fix, he'll drop the second TC. Also, the galleys for uh for Leary are actually dying to knights right now. Look at Tato actually save at night. It's a never-ending story, guys. <laughs> it's a never-ending story. It's just like <laughs> One eco raid after another. Hearts at 18 villagers right now. Heart. Heart can't even. No, never mind. Not my best joke. Second TC is going to come up. I was going to say, Heart can't even legally drink in my country. Because he's 19, get it? But he's got technically 26 population. So. When the games get this lopsided. The bad jokes come out. I'm sorry. They got one last chance. And I think it's it's coordinating all their armies together. And one big snowball. And for GL, I actually think you could simply have the patience to fall back and wait for the night numbers to go for uh to get much higher. That should be the difference here. Viper should have crazy night potential. Tato as well, because their economies are great. Art's on 22 vils. Like, he's not going to produce many more knights. I actually don't hate the addition of Siege in this scenario because the knight play is so weak for the other team. So I would consider that an option. I don't think it's needed, though. And this is the key fight for Gamer Legion to take us to the fifth game, guys. Hera's going to be picking off the crossbows on the other side. There will not be a meat shield anymore for Leary or for MBL. And now a 60 eco lead behind this for Gamer Legion. And I'm pretty certain, like, with Hart and MBL's vil counts being so low, they probably felt like this was over already. Uh, but they had to take that one final fight to find out. And well played there from GL. I mean, the games themselves haven't actually been that close today. If you think about it, you looked at the 1v1s and you looked at the 3v3s. The games themselves have not been close. It's like each game, it's almost like the players are on their home map or a tennis comparison, maybe their serve. Capture H. Capture H! <sighs> um, but the series itself is really close. 2-2 two, two now, and we'll see... Maybe the fifth game will be incredibly close and both teams will have something prepped. That game, the theme for me was just early aggression from GL and they never gave up. And it never stopped pressuring. Viper with a crazy economy. Hera and Tata right behind him. Look at the KDs the whole way through. Just consistently taking better fights. I love the patience from them too. Like, I really liked how there were many instances where they could have tried to take engagements. And it probably would have been a decent engagement. But it wasn't a guarantee it was going to be a decent engagement. So they kept moving along. And just their presence in the back of the opponent's base meant that they would never be attacked themselves. The best form of uh, uh, defense, I guess, being offense there. So, oh man, of course we get this map. Of course we get a regicide game to end this series. Let's go, people. Um, exciting stuff. So we got game five. This map is called Andalusia. You can compare this to Regicide Fortress, but it's Regicide Fortress with a twist. You've got these trade workshops around the map, and then you can actually use the trade workshops... To send resources. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, there's been sling in the past with using these trade workshops. Uh, the trade workshops, they act as a market, but they also bring you a bit of food eco. And Viper has shown up. And Viper sees the opponent's king is already there. So there's a bunch of those around the map. Uh, there's also the monument in the middle. And you can break through the wall and take the relics. We've seen that many times before. Now, I think the best civilizations for this map would be as follows. Chinese, that's already been played by Hera, so that's not an option. Um, Burgundians, Hera has them here. Uh, Portuguese, Leary has them. Spanish, Hart has them. Bohemians, MBL has them. 
Italians and Mayans are... So I, I could see them being really good. I wouldn't say they're clearly as good. No, the monuments don't give resources to everyone on your team. The monuments give resources to only you. I have a prediction here, which is... I don't know. Maybe it's not a great prediction. Let's see. Scout fight. Oh, MBO is actually going to win the fight. I wonder if the Italian player will sling Viper. I could see Viper going full plumed archers, fast imp style in this game. MBL actually brought villagers and is trying to use his king to block off the scout here. Tato is trying to hold on to this trade workshop for as long as possible. I actually love the strategy from Hart on the other side. He brought two vills, built a mill here, and walled them in. So he doesn't have to pay attention to this. And he will always have control of that food. If you guys didn't see the Dark Age sling strategy, please watch the YouTube video on it from like a week or two ago. Maybe someone in chat can link it. Uh, guys, MBL's gonna... MBL could lose his king. Wait, no, that's Leary. Leary's his teammate. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, MBL has history with losing kings. And I'm getting nervous with his king being out here. Um, but seriously, though, once Feudal Age comes in, you really shouldn't have your king around. Tato did lose his scout, though, so I guess MBL probably feels like he's fine. Um, but uh, you can actually send resources in the Dark Age, yeah, and it happens. So, like, big underdogs used double Dark Age sling on this game. I'll just spoil it at this point because, you know, it, it was weeks ago. So they had two players in Dark Age. They double slung a Malay player with the Italian team bonus. And it was Fast Imp Malay Condos. And Fast Imp Malay Condos killed Dogal, then Miguel, and then Kingston. It was so strong, they were able to 1v3 that team, who's going to be in the semifinals, by the way. And yes, there were Siege Towers involved to get over the walls. It was pretty sick. So, um, Obviously, there's the potential for Sling. I think a lot of us maybe wanted to see that. I'm not seeing it here, though. I think we're just going to see a bit of a boom. This is kind of nice. The fact that Leary's back here taking this. You got a scout back here. Like, every little advantage adds up here. I wonder if Hart is going to make many conks. I wouldn't hate it. You could still harass the wood lines. Have some nice map control. Viper's Eagle is going to go down. Uh... And so, Leary's got his scout on full HP. Hart has his scout alive. I don't know what Hera's scout has been up to. Just scouting the map, I guess. But he lost control of this. Maybe he knows that it's Leary and he can't go back there. But Viper's scout is dead. And Tato's scout is dead as well. So. Monument just gives food. It's not all resources. Uh, fake news says, is this direct elimination? Yeah, single elim. This is playoff time. This is the quarterfinal. And it could have potentially been a final, right? Like, both these teams super good. I think what happened was Wii Sports, they didn't have the best start. They fell into the loser's bracket. And GL stayed in the winner's bracket. So no one... You, you essentially have, like, a favorite versus an underdog situation with a player who made it out of the loser's bracket. Up, or Sorry, a team who made it out of the loser's bracket up against a team who won out in the winner's bracket. But you have a big team make it, uh, you know, go down early, like Wii Sports did, and this could happen. Ooh, MBL losing his vills here. Tato added an archer. That's interesting. Added a range and added one archer just to kill those two vills. Is that worth it? I would say so. I think that's really worth it. And you don't even need to get upgrades, too. MBL wasn't expecting that. Speaking of, I think Hart should run with these Vils. Because Viper will probably send Plumed Archers there. Viper's not in Castle Age yet. A TC on the backside there for Hart. 
If this goes very late, both teams have incredible trade. The Italians have the unique tech, which makes trade cheaper. And then the Spanish just have the, the team bonus of more gold per trip. I think I prefer the Spanish bonus, but... I don't know. Italians are also incredible. MBL doesn't have Loom still. He lost another Ville to one Archer without fletching. Uh, I mean, it's just... It's a little sloppy, right? You gotta credit Tato, though. This Archer has paid for itself and then some. And, oh, is he gonna get another one? Uh, wagon! Oh, MBL's now lost four villagers. And adds a wagon to defense. I'm sure we'll be fine, but the wagons are not really that accurate sometimes. And it goes down. So your TC's delayed, which sets you back, Vils. Look at Tato. Tato's on three town centers already. Tato will have a massive lead over MBL. But I think Bohemians might be stronger there. Uh, Leary made a petard bust through the middle. So he's protecting... He's got this monument. And he's also protecting those relics. And Hera is just full boom on the other side. Viper is going to be full plume and boom on this side. And he needs to get Bod Canero in to, to compete with these conks. Conks are really strong in low numbers. But plumes can, can be good against them once the numbers get higher. And there's Bod Canero. And there's the snipe from Viper. So not bad, but three conks. Still could take out the plumes pretty quickly. Viper's going to go university. So a really low eco, high army approach from the Viper. Which I feel in some ways he maybe feels forced to do because he has so many villagers exposed. So I don't know. Like, I don't love Viper's position compared to Heart. I don't love MBL's position compared to Tato. And, you know, Hera, Leary, I think you could compare them as maybe quite close right now. So I think this is a pretty close game. Hera having an uh, uncontested boom, though, is dangerous. I think the fact that he doesn't have to make any units and is under no pressure right now is amazing for Gamer Legion. And I don't think you go Paladin here. I think since you have the castle, you should go with the Custelier. These things destroy. Viper still being harassed. No sling. Everyone buying resources to help with the boom. Relic's not in at all for Leary. He's three TCs. What do you guys think about Organ Guns long term? Like, in a 3v3 team game, this map, Organ Guns. Love them? Hate them? Not sure? I mean... I think the lack of mobility is a real issue. They can be great in a choke point scenario. But on this map, there's a lot of, you know, areas you got to move to. And I think it could be tough. The real answer is, of course, it depends. And not a single person said that. So honestly, chat, you got you to gotta get good. But it, it really does depend on the type of engagements we're talking about. I think if you have like a choke point engagement where you're never going to be surprised by mobility because you've walled things up, they get better. Oh, wow. Organ Guns actually made it to the back of Hera's base here. And Viper's still trying to stop Hart from breaking into his base. Well, I like the fact that Leary is being disruptive to Hera's boom. But Hera can just add one Mangonel from within his walls and be fine here. So I don't think he's going to actually be that affected by this. Viper and Hart still pretty close. But that's what Konks can do. Viper's had a lot more idle time with his economy, too. And still only two town centers. Uh, Hart also on two town centers. Now three. Looks like this is a recent addition. So he hasn't had that for very long. It was a yes or no question. Come on. No, I said, how do you feel about it? And no one said depends. That's, that's what happened. I remember. I did say yes or no after that, actually. Mm. But still, it's all right. It's all right. I've been off for a couple days. You guys aren't you guys aren't used to the chat culture yet, you know? 
It was a trick question for extra credit. <laughs> None of you guys get the extra credit. Dude, I I was all about the extra credit assignments in school. Holy. Because I needed it, you know? Nice job from Viper. And Micro continues. What is better, a bullet or an arrow? Well, in this fight, it can actually be close. In real life, I'm obviously choosing bullet. Uh, Imp is on the way for Hera, who, again, he was able to push back the organ guns pretty easily. And Hera's going for infantry armor? That's a misclick, right? Is he going to go Burgundian condos? It is a team bonus. Uh, Burgundians do get solid infantry upgrades, and it wouldn't be expected either. The plumes are much cheaper than conks. They don't cost food, right? But I still think, like, Hart's not going to be upset with these engagements. He's still killing so many plumes. Someone says he did condos last time. In which game did he do condos? Maybe, did I not see that one? Dude, conks are so good, man. They are so freaking good. And credit to Hart as well. He got bloodlines and he got armor, which you don't actually see that frequently. The Hera adding more barracks. Well, he's up against uh, organ guns, so... Condos are a counter to gunpowder. Uh, Leary? You send that king back home right now. Don't you ruin an otherwise good game by making the mistake of, of sending your king into battle, bro. Come on, Leary. Guys. When are people gonna freaking learn? Like, Hart did the right thing. Hart put his cat his king right next to the castle because he knows he might accidentally send his, his king forward otherwise. Hera's condos, they need to help, and they need to help fast because Viper's had a rough time. And did they see anything here? Did MBL's monks... Yeah, they spotted the barracks, so they know now. Leary. <laughs> My heart rate just went up. Come on, dude. <laughs> Please. Also, here's the thing about condos. You know, they say counter gunpowder, right? But in my experience, if you get, like, Elite Conquistador or you get Elite Organ Gun, just because the units are so, so strong, condos might not actually be that good. We got some condos over here from Tato. If you have a tanky gunpowder unit, it's still... The damage is still going to work out anyways in the long run. But it might be a timing thing. The king is still there, man. Oh, I mean, Leary should be looking on this area of the screen... He just placed a university right next to the king, and he hasn't realized. That could not be any closer to your king. Oh, man. I mean, if this was a scenario, maybe it would, like, boost something. You know, it boosts morale for the men, and they attack 20% faster or something. But that is not how this works. King is on the way home. Condos are on the move. I think Leary should be fine. And uh, maybe Hera will be going for the snipe. Now, what I'm kind of liking from Hera and, and Tato as well is they seem to be trying to disrupt trade positions, right? So you get a raid back here. Hart doesn't have any defense for this. And, and the organs can't get there because the organs are really slow. So this is a real awkward time right now for Wii Sports to deal with all these raids. We're going to see some knights added from Hart, but normally you want your, your pocket position to help you with speed. It's not happening. And Tato made a siege tower for Hera, and now Hera is trapped. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. MBL just walled behind. The Hera can't get back in the siege tower now. Look at the position from Tato, though, and look at the position for the Gamer Legion team. They've got the, the trade set up perfectly. Like, Hera's probably like, market, market, market. And with all these condo raids, now this is another trap. But Hera breaks through. It's just giving them a lot of time. And back to what we talked about earlier. Like, we're not talking about organ guns because they're so freaking slow. So they better be good here. They better be strong enough to win every fight. If they're not, I see this as a real weakness. I do also 
find elite organ guns completely busted. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> this is what they were waiting for. Oh my god, condos counter, what? Three volleys and 40 units go down. Nerfed unit, by the way. It's so wild. It's so wild, like, the storyline. They nerfed the accuracy, and it actually made them stronger because they hit everything in the group now. I don't think the devs were intending the organ guts to, <laughs> to be this good. It's not new at this point. Like, this, the change I'm referring to was, was a long time ago now. And that is now a big issue for GL. Because the plumes will get mopped up like that. The condos will get mopped up like that. I think Bombard Cannons would be your answer to this. Uh, but MBL also has lots of monks here. Okay, there go the condos from Tato. And do you guys remember when there were condos? Because the condos are dead now. GL has to... They have to avoid these. And they can do so, potentially, by hitting different areas. The, the, they can't... These units can't be everywhere. MBL hoping to get conversions. No, I I'm still wondering, what is MBL's composition here? What unit is he going to make? Because uh, something I'm realizing now is Bohemians will want to go gunpowder as well. So even though the organ guns are mopping up, it does create some real questions on what units MBL makes. And it does seem pretty consistent from GL that they just continue to pressure. The condos find some engagements here. The condos kill MBL's monks here. You actually have some two-handed swordsmen from MBL through the middle. That's a little random. And we have organ guns from Leary. But MBL needs support. Seems like MBL's plan was to go champion. Um, Heart is stonewalled. Heart would love Paladin. I think he's going to click that upgrade soon. Viper's been pretty quiet. Condos from Hera in the back. Oh, this is huge. I love how GL have continually raided and continue to try and switch spots. Yes, the organ guns have looked good, but they can't be everywhere. And they also have to produce them out of castles, which is not so easy compared to just spamming units out of a barracks. MBL's going to die here, guys. Leary needs to be here. And Leary's organs were... They were in the middle a moment ago. And now they're coming over. They're so slow, dude. They're so slow. And I think behind this, Gamer Legion have the perfect setup now. They're stonewalling. They're trading. This is not something that we Sports are able to do. And MBL is going to be out of this game. Leary's like, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm on my way. And he's running into a cliff. Oh my god. This is where, if this was like a ranked game between a bunch of people who were, you know, who didn't know each other, at the end of the game, the KD is going to look amazing for Yuliri or for player four. And then they're going to be like, player six, what were you doing? Right? When in actuality, like, MBL has struggled because his teammate just hasn't been able to be here in support. I, I don't know what to suggest. It's just, just a constant spam from one team, and there was just not from the other. And now Viper's presence stopped the organ guns on their way, and still this hasn't been dealt with here. Hart is going to try and take the Bombar Cannons. MBL's king is out in the open. He's back inside the castle. The organ guns are here. But think of the trade, guys. Think of the trade situation. And how much gold income is going to flow for Viper, for Tato, and for Hera behind this. The king for MBL is inside of the castle. If they have any chance to recover, they need him to at least save his king. He's only making monks and champions. Viper's getting pressured over here from Trebs. Viper's elite plumed archers might need some support. I would. I like what that Hera is starting to get cab upgrades. I do think eventually you don't want Hera on condos anymore. I think Paladin support would be better at least here. Yeah, they're doing it perfectly. They've got the trade set up for it too. Tato uh, could always go for Genoese. 
It's a little awkward for Tato because Genoese crossbowmen don't help a ton against the organs. They could be good enough against the champions, though. And Beale's production of champions headed over this way. Condos from Hera finding more organ gun kills and plumes from Viper finding organ gun kills. And Viper still holding here, refusing to quit. It's a crazy game. It's a crazy game. 70 population lead for GL, though. And I think a way better setup because of the trade situation. So, I mean, not just the trade itself, but also is the trade protected? Yes. Are the walls down pretty much everywhere? Yes. The castle positions are perfect here. Like, this this puts MBL in a position where he can never really uh, justify any trade because he's about to lose his base. And um, I'm still not seeing organ guns in support where they need to be just because of how slow they are. But we do have the organ guns here. They're actually right in front of my face. So they are holding the line. And then we got organs towards the middle with some paladins from heart. We might see Viper Petard here. I actually wouldn't mind a Petard take down a piece of wall and drop a castle in the trade. It feels a little silly to say, but I think it makes sense. I am impressed that MBL has not lost his base yet. Once the organ guns got here, uh, they've been able to hold. MBL also adding his own Bombard Cannons. Hera's going to have Paladin in 40 seconds. And this is the perfect time switch, in my opinion. You need something with more HP on the field. I think the Condos did what they needed to. The Condos set up the trade. They allowed for the control that they have now. But you don't want on Hera, you don't want Hera on Condos anymore. We've got soon 30 or 40 trade for Hera. Viper's a little late on the trade, but they can always receive gold. Like, he could always receive gold from his teammates. And here comes the Bombard Cannons. Intense moment in the game. Can Wii Sports take a big fight? Like, maybe take out Tato's castles and make a push here. Oh my god, Tato! He kills three of the monks? Two of the monks. He's done that multiple times, by the way. Shooting down the monks with his Bombard Cannons. Tato didn't get faith, did he? He, pr he definitely would have gotten devotion, because that helps there. Oh man, Viper's Plumed Archers are caught in the cliff. They can't get around. That's horrible. Viper's got crazy army count right now. He's got 70 plumes, but they've got to make it over here. Organ Gun's advancing through the middle. Hoof needs it for MBL. Suddenly, like, he's one big shot away from everything Tato has dying. Oh, but there's Hera Paladins. There's Hera Paladins. They don't have an answer there. They don't have an answer there. Are the organ guns good enough? There's 20 of them. Uh, let the organ guns do their thing, Leary. Back away. He does get to the other side of the gate, as long as the gate isn't held open. He'll probably kill the Paladins, but look at Tato. He's sieging down the castle. Hart is on his own on the other side. The King MBL! Run! He runs away, but he'll lose the castle. And Viper's going to clear up heart. Hera will be there as well. And more ground is being lost here for Wii Sports. MBL and I have to have a talk about his kings. Like the reason to... Uh, sorry, the time to run that king was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> he really left it to the last second there. And the organ guns are pretty strong. Leary's still got a lot of them out there. But you need, I'd say, about 20 for it to be... For it to look like a solid unit. Like any ranged unit, you need the mass. And Hera just jumps on the organs here. Jumps on the organs here. MBL's king will run. And I think this is all adding up for some big play from Viper against Hart. Because Viper's army is kind of running all around for a while. Playing cleanup. Heart is needed here. Heart has to show up here. I don't even know if that would help against Genoese, but they need something. And I could see Viper and Hera maybe massing some some rams or some trebs and making a push. And plumes from Viper trying to run through the middle. Some of the trade is actually pathing through the middle for MBL. What is that? Must be some weird pathing issues there. Maybe some gates are locked. 
But yeah, they're, they're losing grounds. Uh, they're losing grounds? Sorry, they're losing grounds. Someone says the streamer can deactivate ads. Don't complain at Twitch. Uh, I cannot deactivate ads. I'm sorry if you guys saw one. But if you're watching an ad and you're complaining about me, then you're probably... Uh, you're probably not hearing my response. The, the viewer can subscribe to avoid ads. Blame the viewer, not the platform. I agree it's not ideal if you just saw an ad. I try and run ads in between games. But uh, running ads in between games when the games are over an hour long still means that ads happen sometimes, so. Plumed Archers. Still, like, they're a cost-effective unit for Viper, but they're still not... haven't been able to really push hard. Well, Viper maybe going to switch into Halbs for that. The Trebs, Bombar Cannons, Genoese. Still pushing. MBL has never really had a proper working population. But if he can have consistent gold income and get enough hoof needs it, he can at least hold. I see an issue with them pushing still. They don't have the, the composition to really push. They don't have the position to push. I would love to see Tato go for Bombard Towers. Do, do Italians get that chat? Bombard Towers? I... I think they do. I don't know. It's, it's a weird one. A lot of people are saying yes. Okay. I think it's worth it. I mean, he could just buy stone endlessly with his trade income and just fortify the position further. It might actually be better to go for castles just so you have more buildings for the Genoese, but... Bombard Towers can be really annoying. This is what we were talking about before. Like, trying to hit Hart because Hart is being told that he needs support all the time. MBLs actually has Halbs through the middle, his castles through the middle... Maybe MBL could build barracks on the other side instead of patrolling units across the map. But that would be in an ideal situation, and I think this has not been ideal for some time. Running away with his king now. Yeah, Leary hasn't really been losing units, and he's been pop capped, so he's sending MBL resources to get MBL up to almost 200 pop now. So there is that. And the total team populations are actually 600. For the love of God, the MBL. Don't put your king in Leary's castle. He can't even be trusted with his own king. So we sports have held the line. The trade is still really far away here. Can they find a way to, you know, to, to somehow push this back? I think... Right now, the walls from Hart have done a pretty good job. And he'll run in with the Paladins. Castle going down for Leary. Tato switching up the direction. So down goes the castle. And, um... You know, it's, it's, it's a comfortable situation for GL. But they still have to finish these guys off. I mean, we haven't seen the peak of Bohemians yet. That would be 10, 12 Hufnitsa with 50 Halps in front every time. MBL is getting close. We've probably seen Portuguese at their best. We've probably seen Spanish at their best. The Hera's reinforcements, if they just come in here and support a Viper, they could break the line. But now there's Plumes here. Yeah, Hera's adding the Siege Workshop so he can uh, go for Bombard Cannons, I think. I can't wait to see Leary's KD. There's too many other things to look at right now. But I think Leary's KD is going to be ridiculous. But again, it's like, I also think the team has had weakness because of the presence of organ guns. Just with how slow they are. I would argue that they lost the flanks because of the organ guns being slow. And then I also think they've held the flanks because of the organ guns being strong. <laughs> so it's really tricky. MBL's king still just chilling out in the open, having a chat with the organ gun. The organ gun is giving some strategy advice. Here's a question. If you select all your military and click them somewhere, does it... Ah! MBL! MBL, what are you doing? You're king! No! How does that happen? MBL is defeated! 
Oh, no. And in game five, when they were actually holding, I mean, it wasn't great. Let's be real. MBL loses his king, and Hart and Leary have to tap out and call the GG. MBL. Oh, this reputation he's building for not being able to protect his kings is crazy. He didn't have a castle. He didn't have a base. So we can laugh, but I think in some ways you can understand. He didn't have much at all back here. But why? Like, okay, what's safer, okay? The whole world is burning. The enemy is attacking you everywhere. Do we A, put your king next to a castle that's in the middle of the map that will probably be attacked, or do we B, send it to the very corner of the map where you would be dead anyways at this point? <laughs> I'm voting B, but I think the game was over anyways. And maybe, I don't know, maybe MBL was such a good sport. They were going to call the GG because they were losing ground down here. And maybe he sent the king to the halves on purpose. So I actually think there is a 37.8% chance that he intentionally sent the king into the halves because there's no other explanation unless he thought, let's get the food in the middle. I think they thought they were dead. Tato, yeah. They, actually, now that I look over here, they definitely thought they were dead. And I, I think it's maybe 87.3% chance that that was intentional. So, um, okay. So, anyways, GG. Well played. I will say, the condo play was really interesting. I don't think the condos were the finishing blow. But the, condo, the condos felt like the setup there to, um, to essentially get full trade control and full map control. And I wouldn't have expected it from Hera. I, you would have thought maybe more of a Paladin choice. And the KD might not have even been that pretty, but it got the job done. Again, KD's better for Leary, but like, the Organ Guns... Organ Guns are a flank unit, in my opinion. You, you put Organ Guns on the flank, so they always fight on the same side. Putting Organs in the middle is weird to me. Uh, just because of, of how slow the unit is. Maybe they could have switched roles. I think that's tricky then, too. Do you want Bohemians in the middle? Probably not. Do you want Spanish in the middle? I mean, maybe in the late game, but you probably want the Conquistadors on the flank too. So um, maybe the roles just made a little bit more sense there for GL. GL move on to the semifinal. And I will ask MBL about the King, actually, if you guys are curious. Um, but yeah, there's there's what was a very strong game and a very fun quarterfinal. I, I'm really impressed with Wii Sports, though. I think they played better than I would have expected from them after the first few weeks. And uh, disappointed to see they, them crash out here because I would have wanted to see them play more. But uh, that's what happens when you don't perform as well as maybe you could have in the early stages. And you go to the loser's bracket. You're up against a winner's bracket team. And it just so happened to be up against the favorites of the whole thing. So, GG.